Hello, hello, welcome to Sushi Live! How's it going? How's it going? It's Thursday! It's Thursday! And the last day of the month, I believe. Wow! How about that? September has really, like, flown by. Uh, crazy. Crazy. To me, it still feels like August. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's like so little happened during the summer that my brain, my brain is still stuck uh, in summer mode. But it's getting cold. <laughs> so apparently I should, uh, I should probably start adjusting. Hello, everyone. Raichu. Hello. Thank you for the bits. How's it going? How's it going? Easter was two weeks ago. You can't fool me. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. That's what my brain oh my tells goodness, me. I trust my brain. Three months already. Oh my god! Glad I stayed. Sora not Sky! Thank you so much! Three months! Yeah! Wow, time really does fly by. Thank you so much! Thank you so, so much. Today we're playing Banjo-Kazooie as voted on by you! So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great time. I haven't played this in years, but, uh, if you don't know me, I used to be an avid N64 collector in my uh, mid-teens, I'm gonna say. I had uh, pretty much a complete collection back in the day, and Banjo-Kazooie is, as you know, one of the greats on the N64. It is uh, a game by Rareware when they were at the, uh, at their peak, essentially, when they were on top of their game. And it's, uh, it's a game I love, so I'm, I'm interested to see how it sort of holds up. It has actually been a while. Uh, I'm gonna see how it is to uh, play this with a, a controller that is not an N64 controller. That's gonna be an interesting change as well. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a good time, and it's a game uh, I think I can I can talk a lot about. I think I know a lot about this game and uh, and this era of gaming on the whole. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great time. I hope you're here for it. So with that being said, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get the game ready uh, and we'll, we'll get going. So about 10 seconds. Sorry I'm late, by the way. I just want to mention um, my, my zoom button broke, so I can't zoom today. Zoom my avatar, so we'll just have to do it manually if we need to. But, uh, but yeah, with that being said, let me get the game ready. We'll be right back. So, of course, this game is not widescreen, so that means we're going to have to use our uh, alternate layouts that I've made for uh, games that are 4x3. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this looks okay. I'm praying, I'm praying that everything works. All right. You should be able to see me in just a second. Let's see. All right. You see me. Let's see. And then if I start this, hopefully you have sound and video in just a sec. Let's see. Ah. Any luck? There we go. All right. We're off. We're off. How's that looking? How's that looking? Let me know if that looks all right. If I, uh, if I need to change anything. But I, th I think it's okay. Yeah. There we go. Starting with an animated intro. So I, I this is something I, I like about this game is um, it's, it's very animated for an N64 game. Can you turn off the graphics? No. <laughs> You're stuck with what you see. Uh, I haven't changed this in any way. No uh, custom textures. No, no upscaling or anything. This is uh, this is uh, as true to, to original as, as possible, as true to form. So uh, yeah, what you get is uh, wait, what you see is what you get. So. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna look blocky, you'll see some uh, interesting 2D textures, but uh, yeah, I, I can talk forever about how how much I love the art style of Banjo Kazooie. I think for uh, a game on such a limited system, it does a lot of really interesting things. And I, I think even even some of you will be impressed if you never played this growing up. Crypty says, have a good stream, thank you so much! Yeah, so we're starting off with uh, not only animated logos, <laughs> you had the N64 logo just like crawling around. Local! And then you had uh, the Rare Bird logos were like spinning and everything, so right off the bat everything is very animated, everything is googly eyes and everything is sort of, uh, sort of moving, it's very cartoony. Oh, that's not supposed to happen, ah, oh, whatever. Let's, let's roll with it, hopefully, hopefully that fixes itself. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a glitch if you uh, if you play this on, let's say, uh, a, a modified N64. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. If you play this on a uh, not original N64, uh, there's a couple of glitches with some of the effects. But I've, I've tried to fix them before I went live, so hopefully everything uh, looks alright. So, uh, yeah. You can see I have, I have a... This is... This is your save games. You have different places in the house, and those represent different saves. 
Which is kind of neat. Sarah's so playing a very fat Game Boy. Oh my god. Hello, totally. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Sushi Live. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's everyone doing? You're so quiet. Oh my god. Usually, usually it's popping off right about now, but uh, no one's saying anything. Hello? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Alright! Alright, that will take care of it. Hello, Postpelling Gang! Rate of 36 today! That is not freaking bad, that's a lot of people! Hello! Welcome on in, you just missed the intro to Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I kinda... I kinda just wanna start that over, but uh... Yeah, welcome Raiders! Welcome, I hope you had a great stream. Uh, I believe Postpel was actually making the lovely uh, cover art that I'm using on uh, my, my, my Twitter. For, uh, for posts about this game. So, uh, yeah, go look at that if you haven't seen it. If, you, if you're not coming from post pound stream, go on my Twitter, have a look. It's great. Moment. Oh my god! Face Wrecked! With the raise sub! That means, uh, Face Wrecked has been there for four months! Wow! Thank you, Face Wrecked! Thank you so much. And I see Paris as well with the kobolds. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I tested the game just very briefly, just to make sure my controller could, could play this, so. I'm gonna try to delete this. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> so my my controller has as numbers instead of A and B, etc. So the, hopefully I, I can get this. Uh, all right, all right, it's empty. It worked. Okay, <laughs> let's get going. Let's get going. This game has uh, not only a musical intro but a long uh, intro to the game itself. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna put down my controller and watch it with you. It's wonderful. So, uh, Banjo Kazoo is obviously famous for uh, <laughs> its interesting style of like voice acting. You have like short clips that are played uh, over and over again and pitched up and down. Like Banjo goes like, go oh, oh! like up and down. Uh, I might, I might read out some of the dialogue because why not? Stingpot, Stingpot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking French? And wench. <laughs> oh my God. Why it's Grunty? She really takes my breath away. Puff. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. That's, that's as high as I can go today, by the way. <laughs> After doing Night in the Woods, uh, um, my voice is a little bit shot, so you'll, you'll have to settle for budget voice acting today. <laughs> I can't keep up anyway. It's fine. So, yeah. Gruntilda is pissed off because uh, she's not the prettiest in the land anymore. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. Oh my god, no, I can't, I can't do Gruntilda. Sorry. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, all right. <laughs> It's good I don't take myself too seriously, huh? I just go for it. I just go for it. <laughs> so she can do the perfect... Wait, pixel perfect, frame perfect skips? Oh my god, no. No, I don't... I don't remember much. It's been a while. Oh my god! What? Fuck! 3,700 bits! You just dropped 10k yesterday! That is insane! Thank you so much! Wow. Coming here to unlock the game mode. Okay! I hope you got it. I hope you got it. Well, thank you so much. That is big bitties indeed. Oh shit. And yeah, as you can see, I have a, uh, I have the bit dropper enabled today. It's been like three months since we used this this layout. Really haven't ended up playing that many old games. Uh, so it's it's nice to be back on the N64 for sure. And this, this lighting is not really doing my avatar any favors. It's got kind of muddy muddy colors outside. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it on for now. If it just looks too dark. I'll just turn it off. I, I like how Banjo and his sister, they just moved in next to this place. They just built a house next to that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. If a mountain was, was looking like that, I, I think I would... This is... See why people love this? Low property tax, true. She's got her! Somebody help! Oh, how am I gonna do the... How am I gonna do the, uh... 
Kazooie voice. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a normal voice. Who cares? Who cares? Banjo, I can do, but not Kazooie. I, I don't have. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose my voice if I if I haven't attempted. So, we'll we'll play it safe. We'll play it safe. I'm sure most of you can uh, can see what's happening anyway from from the dialogue on screen. So here we have bottles. For some reason, we're introducing ourselves for the, for the first time. I always thought that was weird about this game. Like you've been living here and Bottles just lives outside in the mall hill. Uh, and he, he knows Tootie, but he doesn't know Banjo for some reason. So, uh, okay. I, I don't know how that works. Tootie, by the way, is our sister who was just kidnapped. If you're, uh, if you're not keeping up with the lore so far. Oh my god! Whoa! Legwolf! With 25 pounds! Holy shit, you guys are spoiling me! Oh my god! I don't know what to say. Yeah, lately, the support has just been absolutely overboard. Thank you so much. Thank you, Legwolf. Oh my! No! Oh! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Face wrecked with a ten community subs, ten gift subs. Holy crap! Thank you so much. Honestly, every time Face Rick drops by, they just, they just, yeah, they just drop a big, big donation. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's a lot of money. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone who received the sub. Please make sure to say thank you to Face Rick. That is, uh, uh, not a small amount of, of money to drop. So I, I really appreciate it. This is helping me pay off my computer parts, which are on the way, by the way. They're gonna arrive sometime next week. So uh, we're gonna have uh, an upgraded computer, and we can play some uh, some some games that we haven't been able to play before. So uh, exciting times ahead! But yeah, thank you so much. And a pet from Legwolf. Little Teddy too. How's it going? Or snow, rather. <laughs> that is one one thing I struggle with on Twitch is uh, if someone has. Um, I, sh I, sh I should probably focus on this. Someone has a different name off screen and then on Twitch. I, I just read what I see in chat. My, my brain is not that sharp. Alright. So, uh, he was actually asking us over, over, over and over again about the tutorial. Uh, and I think I can sort of figure it out. The tutorial is kind of drawn out. Uh, I think you can just activate these anyway and he will give give you the tips if you need to so I'm gonna try so we have double jump we have a roll we have a punch let's see backflip and then this is to I don't think we have the moves yet if, if I remember correctly you unlock the moves in like uh, like a gradual order from level to level you get a new move so I don't think we can shoot eggs or anything uh, at the moment but we'll get so here's a big carrot. Uh, let me just murder him. Because why not? Mmm. I'm sticky tasty honey. Honey energy. <laughs> Delicious. This song is so catchy. Yeah. An excellent, excellent soundtrack by uh, the famous Grant Kirkle. Who uh, did a lot of games on the N64 for Rare. Um, you might know some of his work from uh, GoldenEye. You might know it from uh, Perfect Dark. And Banjo Kazooie, obviously Donkey Kong 64. A lot of things, a lot of things. Super talented guy, lo love him. He's, he's so nice too. Follow him on Twitter, and he's always, always engaging with uh, the fans. We're still, you know, talking about Banjo Kazooie today, and I, I love, I love to see that kind of thing. Creators who, who have just genuine love for the people who support them for something old, all of these years later. It's uh, something really nice about that. Okay. So the camera is probably going to be the biggest challenge here. <laughs> because, as you know, the N64 only had uh, one uh, one analog stick. So I have to use the C buttons to uh, change the controls. But I have it mapped to a real joystick because I'm not using an N64 controller. Oh my god, wait. Bibi! Three sub! That's a tier three, by the way. So that's, that's a big, big sub. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Six months for Bibi. Congratulations, uh, enjoy the new, uh, new badge and flair. And thank you for, for sticking around for so long. Amazing. Okay, so 
So, uh, of course, lucky the 10 bits. Of course, we're uh, supposed to go up, to, up the mountain. There's something to find here first, sort of like a reward for completing the tutorial, I believe, is uh, these hollow honeycombs, uh, like this. Essentially, these are permanent life upgrades, if you collect, I think, what is it, five of them? Ten of them? So, uh, yeah, you really, you really want to try to get all of these. Let's see. Six of them, six of them, okay. So, uh, even though we're not doing the tutorial, uh, let's just... Go around and make sure we get all of these, because uh, they will come in handy. Banjo Kazooie is not the most difficult game in the world, by the way, to beat. Uh, it does have some really annoying challenges in parts, but uh, I think it's very, very much uh, a manageable game for <laughs> for, for Sushi Fur. So uh, I think this is going to be relatively doable. Great game, though. Hello, Ninja. And hello. Who else did I miss? Oh, Silver the Boop. Flicka, hello! Make lunch and come back to Sushi Stream! Yes! Perfect timing! Hello! Ooh, that's an extra life over there. Let's see. Flicka with the brush! Thank you so much! Oh yeah, even the items talk, by the way. <laughs> even the items have voices, which is a wonderful touch. An absolutely wonderful touch. Everything! Everything is uh, anthropomorphic in this world of Banjo Zoo. Which is uh, either disturbing or nice, depending on how you uh, how, how you uh, perceive life. I don't know. Usually everything has eyes, so uh, it's it's something you'll have to get used to. If it can have googly eyes, they usually stick uh, googly eyes on it. Like this uh, cauliflower over here that's flying. Okay. So let's see. There is a tutorial here. I'm just trying to think. Maybe there's something hidden in, in the grass, in the flowers, I'm not sure. See something down here though? Let's see if I can figure out how to swim. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is probably <laughs> this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the game is swimming. That does not work super well with my controller, but uh we'll uh, we'll adapt. We'll adapt. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Really wish I could have played this on uh I mean <clears throat> Of course I'm playing on Original N64. What am I talking about? What was I thinking there? Never mind. Never mind. No, oh, I, I, I don't, I don't have my, uh, my old N64 here. Let's just say, <laughs> the one I grew up with. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm making do. I'm making do. Remember the N64's weird controller? I grew up with it, so I, uh, I, I am, I'm perfectly used to it, which, uh. Which, uh, might sound weird. No, but I, I like it. I like it. I don't mind it. Except for, uh, for the minigames in Mario Party. Does anyone know that story? Did any any of you grew up, grew up with the N64 and by any chance have Mario Party? Because Mario Party has, uh, has a few, uh, minigames that are, <laughs> are famous for highlighting just how, how flawed the controller is. Palm blisters! Yes, Ren gets it. Ren gets it. Uh, so, in, in some of the Mario Party minigames back in the day, uh, you would hold your controller out like this and, like, tilt the stick in circles, right? And most people figured out, hey, this is not really the most efficient way to do it, right? It's better to just use your whole palm and just rub it against against the analog stick as fast as you can. Well, uh, the N64 analog stick, not only uh, <laughs> did it break very easily, but it was hard plastic. So, uh, when you did that very fast, you would just immediately get blisters. And it was such a problem to the point where uh, Nintendo had to offer uh, special gloves for, for, for Mario Party 1 and 2 owners. That they would mail out to you if you complained to them. Uh, it was a real thing. I believe there was even a, a lawsuit involved. So, uh, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. But, you know, besides besides stuff like that, I, I really didn't mind the answers for the yeah, no, I, I kind of, you kind of get used to the configuration. It looks weird. Uh, one thing I will say is that the D-pad on, on, <laughs> on the left is completely useless. I don't know a single game that uses it. But the analog stick and the C buttons, it does work. The games that are for it, uh, you, you get used to it. Okay, another cutscene. Pay attention, pay attention. Important story arc here. Oh, what's, what's, what's he called? 
tickle again. Longo, right? Longo! Oh yeah, by the way, Gruntilda always rhymes, uh, if, if you hadn't noticed. Always! I, I forget, they might have dropped it in the second one? I think they dropped it in Tui. It just got so annoying to write for, and I think they just have like a fourth wall breaking reference when they just talk about it. But uh, yeah, for the duration of the original Banjo Tui, everything Gruntilda says is a rhyme. Alright, so we are in Gruntilda's lair. And the cool thing that kind of surprised me when I was younger about this game. Uh, I'd played games like uh, Crash Bandicoot before this, and I expected that Rentilda's Lair was just gonna be a generic, like, hub world, but uh, it works a bit differently. You know how in most games when you enter, like, a hub area, you just have all the levels here in, like, a circle, and you just enter it. But Gruntilda's Lair, it works quite differently, because, uh, this is, like, a, a lot of really weird, uh, labyrinthian paths you have to take to get to the levels. And so, the lair changes as you sort of go along to sort of fit the levels you're going into. Uh, you'll see in a bit, this is just the first level, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite, uh, a really stretchy, long hub area, and, uh, I like it. I like that they make unlocking the levels part of the adventure as well. It's, it's, it's a great touch, for sure. Alright. So this is our most important... What am I gonna say? Currency? Our collectibles? We have jigsaw pieces. Which, uh, are used to unlock the levels. So, yeah, I don't need to. So we have to find one more, one more to, to open up the first level here. Well, I can't skip this. Okay. Lesson to self. You cannot skip dialogue. Okay. So I believe uh, the game wants us to look around a bit. And I think... Maybe it's just up here? Maybe it's back here. Let me... Can we climb this? I don't think we can. Do we need the talent trot, maybe? Let's see. No, so we just slide off. So that's not the way to go. Let's see. Over here! Right! There we go. Oh man, this is weird control. Alright! And there we go! Our first jiggy. Oh my god. Good voice. <laughs> Alright! There we go. A uh, real shame they went too large with the levels in ukulele. It doesn't quite hit the same. Yes! Yes, I agree. Uh, ukulele is, is not a horrible game, despite what a lot of people will, will tell you. Uh, but the problem with ukulele is it feels like they didn't take many lessons that have been learned about 3D platformers since. So to me, it just felt like Banjo Kazooie again in just way, way more open levels. And a lot of, you know, a lot of the accessibility options and, and like, the, the ease of life advancements in games in general were, were sort of missing, which I thought was weird. But it's an okay game. It certainly, it certainly set out to, to recreate this game and uh, it did. It did. It got pretty close. Okay. So do we place them down manually? How does... Okay, okay, cool. Hey! Right, I think... If I can be so, so bold as to say, my favorite part about this whole game is just how... How well everything works together. Right? The art style and the gameplay and the music just, uh... Just comes, comes together to really form a complete picture. Which, uh, not a lot of games on the N64 were able to do to this extent, I feel like. Uh, even though it's obviously dated, uh, visually, still, it still is, is pretty whole. And cohesive, yes. Boop! From, uh, Masonic. Hello! And we have, um, uh, Mike Husky. Hi! Welcome to the stream. We are, uh, just starting with Banjo-Kazooie for our first session today. 
for this game. So, uh, yeah. Sit back, relax. Hopefully, it's a game you enjoy. And yeah, like I said, no modifications to, uh, to the setup for this. Uh, I could have gotten, like, texture replacements and everything, but I did not. I decided to just leave it as is. Um, let's see. Can I, can I adjust the camera? So you can, actually. So if you press this button, it sort of aligns behind you. Okay. Yeah, this stick on my controller does not work so well with this configuration. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I kill? A boop! I'm called Fire Dragon. Oh! Okay. We cannot kill. We cannot kill this man. Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone. No, I'm gonna kill you. So that's what I meant. Uh, it can it can be nice that every object you know talks to you and is is anthropomorphic, but also <laughs> you end up killing a lot of innocent innocent objects that clearly do not want to be killed. So uh, yeah, here's our second most important collectible. I'm gonna say uh, the Jinjos, which uh, I think they come into play later in the game. I don't know if they do much in the levels themselves at this time, but I think for some of the boss battles come into play. And also the, uh, the music notes, which are, uh... I don't remember what they're needed. I think they might be needed to unlock some, some parts of the hub area. Uh, maybe that's Tui, maybe that's the original. I don't quite remember. But, uh, yeah, important to get as many of them as possible, because I believe if you get all of them in a level, you also get uh, a jigsaw piece. So, yeah, you have that incentive as well. Notes, open doors. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Go <laughs> literally murders a bystander. Yes. Oh shit. Monkey. He doesn't look too friendly. Oh! There's a... There's a mumbo skull over there. You want those two. Cool fire dragon says I'm off to sleep. Have a good uh, day or night. Have a, have a good night. Thank you for, for saying hello. Appreciate it. Alright. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take it take a chance here. Ah! Oh my god. Well that texture does not look good. Oh! Oh my god. Come on, hit it. Oh! There we go. One more right. Here we go! This guy sounds just like me. It's true. You must search for ten of, ten of us to, uh, on each world, and help you progress through the witch's lair. Okay. Alright, second Jiggy got, and uh, if you didn't figure, this is the main objective in the game, is collecting Jiggies. So, usually each world has a bunch of different little puzzles that you have to do, or challenges. And, yeah. Goal is to get all of them. Hello. Oh. Chimpy hungry, wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Oh. Are we the bad guy in this? We might be. We might be. No, we're uh, we're rescuing our sister. So, uh, I, I guess, I guess we have a good reason. Alright, so you... Oh. Snack from Ren, thank you so much. So this this man, he wants an orange. Uh, I don't know how to get it exactly. Let's see, can we? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, let's climb up. That works. <laughs> oh my God, the orange speaks. Did you hear that? It was like orange sounds. It was just like splorch over and over again. That's like biting into an orange. <laughs> That is wonderful. <laughs> Best voice actor in the game. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. And that's that's what eggs sound like, if you didn't know. They just sound like springs. Just go boing. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Congo. So do I just jump and jump and kill? 
So, wait. Can I double jump and attack? No. So it has to be a single jump. And then... You have to uh, bite him with the beak. It goes. It goes. Brack style. Brack style. That did not work. Why are we attacking him? Because he, he threw oranges at us. We hate that shit, okay? Oh, come on. Really? Alright, I'll, I'll come back to this guy. I'll come back to this guy. Oh my god. Oh, my controller's just stuck. Things a bit slippy. Oh my god, this camera. Uh, I don't know where I am. Throw eggs at him? We don't have that ability yet. We will soon. Okay. So I don't remember if you get your abilities from bottles or if you get from Mumbo. I think Mumbo is just like uh, transformation stuff. Uh, I remember one part get transformed into like a dishwasher and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the thing. Don't exactly remember what it is on this level. I guess we'll find out in just a sec. Alright. Ants have been murdered. A boop from Buck, by the way. Ah! You missed. That was a miss. That was a miss. Scary, though. Oh, shit! Just free... free, uh... Jiggy, wow. It's gotta be the uh, easiest puzzle in the game. Just okay. Can I see uh, a little Jinjo fellow as well? Okay, hello. Alright. Wish I could TF into a dishwasher. Is this, uh, is this Lake Wolf? I mean, if that's your thing. I, I think I would choose something else, to be honest. To be honest. Okay. But yeah, by the way, the music changes based on where you go, which if you haven't noticed. So they use this to great effect in this game, probably the game that uses it the most in uh, pretty much all N64 games, but yeah. Every, every track, every level track has like five or six different uh, uh, variations based on where you are in the level, which is fantastic touch. I remember Mario 64 had, had this effect too, but uh, very, very limited uh, when they used it, because they had it for underwater stuff, I think. And then, oh, Dire Dire Ducks. You dive to a place, it changed into like a, a, a drum beat. And then also the uh, Rana plants. You might have walked down to the sleeping plants. This game, a lot more of it. Okay. So he's saying that we need to feed him eggs, I think. So, start the bottles. Beak Buster. Z to send Kazooie slamming R down. Alright, so this is a, a ground pound ability. Which, uh, of course, we're gonna use to destroy some houses. Because that's what you do when you walk into a village, right? First, let's get this guy. By the way, if the frames drop uh, during this game, then that's, uh, that's just the N64. That's, uh, not my computer. Struggling. This game is is quite low frame rate in parts, as you can probably tell. It's the one thing that is probably the hardest hardest thing to forgive about the N64 if you go back and play stuff on it is, is the frame rates. Like some games, it dips into like the low twenties, and it is not. It's not nice. It's not nice. But we'll make do. Banjo is is not uh, the worst for this. Uh, at all, so uh, we, we should be fine. Expect dips. Okay. Oh! There was uh, a green man in there. Oh, and I see a Jiggy up here. Oh, 
Murdered. Absolutely murdered. Okay. Last one. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Green man. There was a Deki. Yes, that was Deki. That was Deki. Gotta go shower needs. See you, Sush. Says Onio. All right, we'll take care. And we, we steal his eye here, so... And I think this level is, is relatively small. I think we have enough Mumbo Skulls to do what we need. Uh, at least, uh, let's go talk to him. So this here is, is Mumbo. This is a skeleton wizard man. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. You help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens, hit by witch. Find tokens, Mumbo help you. Banjo nuts, that's enough. Tokens for Mumbo magic, oh really? He wants five. I think, if I recall. Buck, three sub. Buck a buck, thank you so much. Three months you've you've been watching Sushi Live. Thank you so much for the continued support. Appreciate it. Yeah. So usually uh, Mumbo's hut is always the same. So they they like to hide stuff up here. Sometimes you get uh, actually really good collectibles. In this case, it's just eggs. So uh, we'll ha we'll have to settle for eggs. Okay. Let's see. So. Can we spit eggs? No. So we need we need to talk to uh, talk to bottles again. Usually there's a few molehills around. <laughs> Vivi with the natey <laughs> egg drop emote. Oh my god. Hello, gentle hero. Welcome, welcome on in. Playing some banjo kazooie. How's it going? All right, so here we get one of the coolest moves in the game. I like it a lot. It is the Talent Trot, I believe. So if we crouch, I won't crouch. And what is it? Right. I might actually remap this because uh, I have it on an analog stick, and its C buttons are kind of yeah, kind of difficult to do with the stick. So. But yeah, you can now walk with uh, Kasui, which allows you to traverse steeper hills. So that hopefully means we can... I think there's still a limit. What you can do, but you can try. No, we can actually we can actually just walk up this whole, whole path. Usually you would even slip down, so yeah, let's get all the collectibles here. Uh, welcome to this noise for the rest of the game. Yes, you are correct, you are correct. <laughs> At least it's, it's not so horrible, I, I can like it. Right. And then hopefully the camera works with us, so far so good. And one more. Yes. Two more. Oh, and a Jinjo. And uh, a Mumbo token. Wow, there you go. That's uh, that's Grant Kirkup himself, by the way, the guy who composed the music. That's him saying uh, saying those sounds. Uh, I believe the story goes that he uh, he said a bunch of like English typical like English uh, phrases from where he, where he was from in England or no, Scotland. Maybe he's Scottish. I forget. I forgot. But uh, in any case, he he said a bunch of phrases and he's basically just like chopped them up uh, and used them as as like sand sound bites that play at random. So, uh, how do you how do you actually put them in order? Uh, I think it actually says something. But uh, yeah, so it's it's a really creative technique to uh, you know you know sort of get around the fact that the N64's cartridges couldn't store a lot of sound. It was kind of limited with storage. So uh, yeah, I love it. Come on. All right, during the BRB, I'm probably gonna remap my controller a bit. This is not ooh, ideal, but uh, we'll uh, well we'll make do for now. We'll make do for now. So we got. Uh, how do I check? All right, so we have two mum mama tokens. We need five. 
So I think that maybe means we have to come back to this level at some point. Not entirely sure. But uh, let's see. Any, any other objectives we can do at the moment? We still have the egg shooting ability. Uh, I think that's gonna open up some paths. I think we can shoot the monkey with eggs. And that will help us immensely. So let's try that. Shouldn't need to? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can find everything. Maybe I missed something around the corner here too. You can complete each level in your first run. Oh, here you go. Yeah, I guess it's Banjo 2 that was way, way worse in that respect. Banjo 2 is a great, great game. There's so much I like about it, but it is a nightmare to complete, sadly. So much like backtracking in that game. Uh, you'll unlock a level, and you'll get like a mumbo ability in that level. And you'll have to traverse from that level to a different level with the ability intact and, and stuff like that. So it's like a lot, a lot of back and, back and forth uh, gameplay. And it takes forever to get to the point where you can actually beat the final boss in the game. Banjo Kazooie is, is way more self contained. It's, uh, to, to throw a comparison, it's like Spyro 1, uh, as opposed to Spyro 2, where you actually have to go in and out of levels as well. So, uh, yeah. I, I probably, probably prefer this game for that reason alone. Banjo Tui has some of the coolest boss battles ever. Uh, so, I kind of want to just wanna play that game one day too, just, just to show that off. If you dig a bit, if you stick with it, Banjo 2 is, is also packed to the brim with a lot of uh, really interesting things. Okay. So am I gonna try to 100% this game, uh, or just running through? Probably just running through. I honestly don't give much of a shit about 100%ing. Uh, That's just me. That's just me. I, uh, I don't really get any super big level of satisfaction from it, right? So, I, I like to focus on just being able to show off uh, the best parts of the game. That's just me. That's just me. I've never been like a completionist, never cared about achievements or anything like that, so... I'm, uh, I'm happy to... yeah, just take it easy. Hello Shinru! Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? We're playing some Banjo-Kazooie. How are you doing? Okay. So, we might... Do we have to dive for a token by any chance? Shell down there. Yeah, by the way, be patient with me when it comes to this game. Like I said, I have not played this in ages, and I don't remember any, everything uh, just right away. So, uh, it's gonna be a lot of exploring, a lot of uh, me taking my time, so, uh, yeah. That's what you can expect from this. Uh, let's see. So we need more Mumbo Tokens. I don't think there's anything up there. Uh, we also need one more ability. I don't know where exactly to find it. Um, we, need to, we need to get the ability to shoot eggs. So we can take out the monkey. Might be up here. Uh, Shinner says, good, just got back from a walk with my dog. How oh, lovely. I was, uh, I was just working out myself. Short session today. Oh, excuse me. Short session, but uh, it's good to good to get to work out then. Okay, so we found this one. Uh, found the one over there. Is there one on this side, perhaps? A boat from Okimura. Hello, Okimura. I was expecting sushi for speedruns banjo. No, no. <laughs> No, uh, I'm not, not a speedrunner in any capacity. You know me, I'm not like super good at any, any given game. I, uh, I just, uh, yeah, just like to show show off games. Sora not Sky, what the gifts up to Shinru, thank you so much. Okay. So where is his final ability? Is it just down by the monkey? So we got this one. Got this one. Wonder if we can cover sushi up? Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the one and only time. The one and only time we did this before. They were able, chat was able to do it uh, within like an hour. So uh, I very much expect it to happen. By the way, out of curiosity, does your stream have any, any uses? Any exclamation mark uses or question mark uses? But like, commands or? If you look down below, if you're on desktop, we have 
a bunch of commands in the description, in the about section. So, I mean, you can have a look there. Not that many commands with Nightbot, by the way. Uh, just a couple. Most of them are now re reallocated to SushiBot. But it should, uh, the most important ones should be outlined below, so have a look. Okay. Alright! The ability is just here, huh? Okay. Got it. This game is interesting, didn't know the Banjo-Kazooie games at all. Yeah, I, I figure a lot of you watching probably have never, have never experienced this game at all, so, uh... Yeah, good, good to show it off. I'm, I'm really interested in doing a lot of stuff on the N64. It's, it's a console I'm pretty knowledgeable about, and I've played most of everything. So, uh, if there's any good games you like on the N64, expect them to happen sometime in the future. But I'm gonna try to pace them out just a little bit. I don't know how well a game like Banjo Kazooie is gonna do on the stream. I feel like a lot of people have gotten used to more modern games, since that's mostly what I've been playing lately, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll take it from there. We'll take it from today's session. Okay. So now we have eggs. So that means we can... Let's see. We bend down. We can, we can, we can cough up eggs. We can also poop eggs. I, I actually actually think I want to rebind the controller real quick if I'm gonna continue with this. Hang on. Hang on folks. Just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm just gonna bind this uh bind the C buttons to, to the D-pad instead. One moment. Okay. Let's see here. Options, input settings, and then let's do C buttons. All right, that should be better. And one second. Here we go. All right, let's try that. Yeah, way better. So uh, if you don't actually know the original N64 controller, it is... Um, C buttons are actual, actual, actual four buttons in like a four button configuration. So it's, it's not that far from what you have on a PlayStation or an Xbox controller. But that was used for a lot of, like, analogs, what you would normally use analog sticks for today. So, uh, yeah. banjo uh, a lot of the abilities you have sort of bound to the C buttons, so it's better to have it on the D-pad, I think. Gentle, take care, take care. Good luck with the, uh, eye, appoint uh, eye appointment. So. Yar! Wait, what did it say? He hates eggs. Let's kill. It's time to kill. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> you fucker. You gotta slide. You gotta slide when you crash down. Oh! There we go. Uh, let me see. People saying. I'll spell saying something about. Alright, oh, is. is are they adding uh, N64 games to the Switch? Is that a thing? I think I heard whisperings about that, but uh, I haven't really read into it. Oh, kill. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, they fly so fast! Holy shit. Uh, N64 games if you get the next tier of online subscription. Next tier, huh? Next year. Uh, how, how much is that gonna be? I, I, I'm kind of disappointed they just didn't add it to Nintendo Online in the first place. I feel like you kind of get a, a, a bum deal with their online service. They added like, they haven't added that much, have they, in terms of like ROMs or, or NES and SNES. I haven't seen that much being added. It's mostly just that initial uh, library. Nice. Alright. So, uh, we've successfully mugged this, this monkey man. So, uh, we can take this jiggy. And then... Let's see, what else can we do here? We still need some mumbo skulls. Did we, did we get one up here? 
Oh shit, he's still, still trying to attack us. Fucker. Oh, here's one. Right. So that's number four. Oh, grunt a switch. Okay. So if you pound this, something opens up outside, I think. Yeah. That's right. Ikum bukum. into stopping ROM piracy than making those ROMs available themselves, Nintendo. Yeah! Yeah! You're right! You're absolutely right. Which is, uh... Which is not helping! Like, if, if you made it, like, readily available, then a lot of that piracy would also go away, so... Yeah, Nintendo uh, sort of works in, in strange ways. I think their marketing tactic is just to sort of... really, really build up value by making it difficult to obtain. It's like how they produce consoles, like some of their limited edition consoles, in super, super limited quantities, like the, uh, what was it, like, SNES Mini and stuff like that? But yeah, I, I kinda hate that, kinda hate that. Purposely produce less of something, uh, just to sort of drive up demand. Don't think piracy will ever go away? No. No. For sure. For sure. But take, take Steam for an example. Take Steam. So much of PC gaming, gaming piracy has disappeared because Steam has made it so super convenient to get games there. Like, if you provide a good service, if you provide a lot of really good features, and if you provide it at a good price point, like with the Steam sales, then people will actually buy, will actually buy those games. They really will, because it's just so much easier than, uh, than getting a torrent. So that's, that's, that's the way I would go about it. Piracy will never go away, for sure, and it shouldn't, but, uh, there's definitely right ways to go about it, and I, I don't, I don't really, I don't really agree with the uh, Nintendo's way. Okay, so can we aim down? No, so if I do, can I then shoot eggs? I don't think I can aim yet? Can I? I assume, I assume I have to, I have to egg this boy. Let's try. Dead. Oh my god. Can I... Ah! <laughs> oh my god! What do I do with this guy? Hang on. Aiming came in too. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I really like the aiming! Can I just... No? Okay. So does he actually protect anything? I forget. Sworn over something you had to do, but maybe, maybe we need the ability for it. Can't kill the bull? Okay. Any problem can be solved with enough eggs, absolutely. Absolutely. The birds in chat will confirm, okay? Alright, so we can feed this boy eggs. Remember, remember, okay. Yeah, so this, uh, the scary man wants to eat eggs. And time it. Sorry, it's, it's just so weird having. Uh, oh, do we have to poop him? We have to poop him. This man only only eats eggs that come from 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 that end of the body. So there we go. Hello, Weeg. Good to see you. Come on. Ah. I'm- I'm not- I'm not good at pooping eggs, apparently. <laughs> Shit. Come on, go in! Go in! Just eat him! Eat him, you fucker! Ah. Okay. Can I really not just shoot, please? That would be like a huge help. <laughs> back. Then, boop! Work? No, that's too close, because now it bounces off his face. Eat him! 
like the hardest thing ever. What the hell? Eat the eggs. You fucker. There we go. Just eat the eggs. Should be able to shoot him. Yeah, but I can't. I can't seem to line it up. Is the thing. It's like the analog's movement is so like so limited. Like. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Just had to go around. All right. Eggs have been consumed. Jiggy has been secured. Okay. <laughs> Eat the eggs, you fucker. My mom during breakfast is Okimura. <laughs> Your mom sounds scary. Okay. So we need one, one more mumbo token. I don't know where to go. I'm actually kind of clueless right now. I'm gonna have to assume it's down here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's in the anthill? We could, we could try to go in. You need the ability to, to traverse most of it. Um, just gonna have a look. Oh. Fun fact. Fun fact. This song here? That was the original tune for uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, if you can just imagine this in different instrumentation, uh, that's what the whole level uh, track would have sounded like. But they uh, they sort of left just just this version here in the Antil uh, in just as an as an Easter egg. So uh, this was the original uh, Mumbo's Mountain tune. Sounds like a game show. All right, so I think we have to do bird walk, right? Ooh, okay, good. And then this is too steep, yeah. So we have enough tokens, we can get the ability. Let's go. You know you're in the right place when you're greeted by Hey Ugly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they love to, uh, they'd love to have some trash talk in the dialogue in this game, which is, which is great. Closer. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand on the skull. Alright, it's time. It's TF time. Get ready. It goes. It goes. And we're an ant! Look at that. All right. Yeah. So each level has a different transformability that you get from Mumbo, and this will uh, allow you to use some different uh, unique abilities for that level. So uh, in this case, I think it's mostly just for traversing the anthill, so we can climb up the sides. I don't think we have any attacks. Doesn't look like it. So we just have to make it to the top. And that should be it. Okay. Yeah, so now we can, we can walk on the sides here. Ooh, oh my god! Uh, sushi question. What do I get if I subscribe and buy you a coffee? Uh, well, if you su subscribe, you get a bunch of emotes and you get no ads on the stream. Um, beyond that, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much I can promise you. But it's, uh, it's mostly just a way to support the stream. You also get good karma, that's true, that's true. Okay. I hate my controller, by the way. <laughs> this is next, this is next up on the list. After I get my PC parts, I'm gonna replace this horrible, horrible, horrible controller. Because right now, like, if I... Oh, face wrecked for the boop. If I if I move it up and down or left and left and right, it works. But if I do like in the middle, uh, you just come come to a stop. So I have to like I don't have like full full uh, 360 degrees movement with the stick right now, which is kind of kind of proving to become a challenge. Ah, I'd wait from face wrecked and a boop as well. Let me just have a sip. Thank you. Uh, I, 
I really, really wish I could rotate this camera. It's like stuck on a, on a track here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can I look up here by any chance? Can't, right? No. We have to go around. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. It's like the camera moves and you slightly start changing direction as well with uh, with the camera moving. So like I, I move up instead of move down. Okay. Oh. Good. We're good. All right. Like Wolf says, uh, can't stop sniffling and sneezing, so I might go and curl up into bed. Have a great stream, sushi and gang. Love y'all. Love you, Lake Wolf. Thank you so much for for saying hello, and uh, I hope you feel better. Is it hard as a kid too? Yeah, some of <laughs> some of these parts are uh, are pretty rough. I remember some of the time challenges to get uh, to get all the collectibles. They make them super hard, so it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Let's do this. Is hating on our, uh, our shorts. All right, we got all the uh, all the notes. So that's good. Good. Oh my god, they just want to steal my clothes. Weirdos. Get out of here. Give me the eggs. Hey, hey, hey. I'll, I'll trade you. Alright? You can have the shorts. I can have the eggs. Just come here. Mm. Oh shit. We can scam that dude. All right, and, and, is the Jiggy on top? I hope it is, I freaking hope it is. This better not just be a one-up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be careful here. <laughs> if I fall down, I'm never gonna forgive myself ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is scary. Yeah, I, I I don't trust my controller enough <laughs> for like precision platforming. So uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, that is pretty much this level, I think. But there is one more use for this transformation, and uh, I have to go actually out of the level. Let's see. Okay, careful, careful. Don't fall in the water. I think that changes you back. Is there fall damage in this game? Uh, I. I think there is, but not in this form. Not as an ant. Yeah, pretty sure there is. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, so we got all the notes. Then we can't move too far away from the level before the transformation sort of turns you back. We can climb up here and get the jiggy. So, there we go. All right. Now I believe uh, we can just move on to the next level, right? I don't think we have anything left there, so let's just go. Where did you get those shorts? So, oh my God, still, still being harassed by other ants. All right. Here we go. And then we can uh, continue. So like I said, uh, Gruntilda's lair is interesting. It's not like your average hub world, because uh, the level actually, uh, the, the hub actually stretches quite far. You have a lot of different paths you have to take to find the levels. And it's kind of a puzzle in itself. And I, I like that about this game. They want your shorts because they want a naked sushi. I am naked. What are you talking about? Always naked. <laughs> Right, so here's where all uh, all the notes come in. This is used to unlock the doors. Between levels. So uh, it's relatively good to, to pick up as many of those as you can as well. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Number on the door, I get it, I get it. Okay. 
There we go. And we are through. And we do a little dance. Yeah. All right. Always loved banjo. It's a classic. Absolute classic. Shinru, we've gifted sub to Mikey Husky. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shinru. Good to see you again. I know it's been a while. <laughs> you you came back on the day I was I was leaving for for my first holiday ever. So uh, yeah, but it's it's good to see you again. I hope everything is as well. Okay. Rawr. Alright. Man has been killed. Man, imagine having this in your house. Just like a print of your own face, like a pixelated print of your own face in the floor. It's scary. Vivi says gotta go run for dinner, having burgers before you ask. Alright. Uh, enjoy the burgers, Vivi. Uh, missed you and everyone, Sister Shinru. Yeah, missed you too. Missed you too. No, honestly, I, I I do notice when people disappear, and I, I think about it a lot. I do think about it a lot. Like, oh, it's been a while since I've seen this person. Well. All right, this is uh, Gruntilda's sister. She's uh, actually a good guy, so she's she's gonna help us. Uh, very important what she says here. She she tells you uh, disgusting secrets about Gruntilda. Disgusting slander, and you, you have to remember all of it. Because it does actually come into play later. You don't expect it when you play it the first time. But, uh... Yeah, listen. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Okay. Remember this. You have to remember this. Help me remember this, because it's gonna come into play. I promise you. And here's another, uh, I would say, favorite level in this game. Treasure Trove Cove. Let's go. Real banger of a song in this game. In this level, I mean. It sounds disgusting. Well, you don't like tuna toothpaste. Yeah! All right. I'll remind you of it in three months' time when you get around to finishing this game. The game is not too long. I think we can uh, knock this out, I'm gonna say, in maybe three or four sessions. Okay, is that where we came from or? No, we came from there. And so here you see, uh, this is what I talked about with the whole hub world being a little bit different than what you might expect. Even though we unlocked that level, it opened a door in a different place. So, we actually have to go find that door, um, based on the quick cutscene they showed us. Kimura says, I'll head to bed now, enjoy the game everyone, well thank you so much Okumura for, uh, for dropping by, and I wish you a good night. What does this do? Hang on. I think this is just like a quick teleport that we unlock. If we unlock another cauldron in a different place, uh, it takes us there, so... For now, we're uh, we're gonna avoid drenching ourselves in in green goop as much as much as I am tempted. Oh yeah, by the way, Gruntilla just talks shit as as you do stuff in the game. Uh, as you walk around the lair, she just randomly talks shit about you. So uh, get used to that too. She's cool. Yeah, great character. Okay, can I turn the camera, please? Here's a man. I think it's just down there, right? Let's see. Bang. Here, perhaps? Let's have a look. Yeah, this this sounds piratey. I think we're uh, in the right place. Yes, we are. Okay. So, I believe there's also some stuff hidden around here in the set dressing. Is that some some health items? Yeah. Okay. What about this? Anything with this? Let's have a peek. There's feathers over there. So I guess we can jump on the cannon, perhaps. Let's try it. Oh 
yeah, feathers. I don't even think we have the ability for it yet, but, uh, here we go. Wee! I'm a red feather! I help Kasui fly when she knows how to. <laughs> Okay. Guess that's everything. And in we go. All right. All right. Get ready to dance. Get ready to freaking dance. One of the best songs in the game. I believe they uh didn't they remix this for for Smash even? The latest Smash. They had like a, a long remix of this one. It is, a, it is a great choice, to be fair. Kill. Alright. So. In true, uh, in true Nintendo game fashion, we have to destroy all of the wildlife. Crabs must die. Violently. Oh. oh, I hear someone crying. No. Eh. Wait, how do I do this? Here we go. Oh, shit. I, I've, I've tried to get get used to it, but it's, it's so weird. It's so weird having to use the D-pads on the left side of the controller. Because it's, it's on the right side on the N64 controller. Oh, I'll get it eventually. Ah, wow. Oh. Ah. Right. That's, that's... That's a good voice. Okay, so he's he's sad because he's lost his treasure, so uh, I guess we'll dive on down and get it from him. Why not? That'd be helpful. <laughs> this voice, if you don't like it, get used to it. Get used to it. This game does a lot of that. Uh, Let's see. All right, time to dive. Oh yeah, this is a nightmare to control. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't have full, full like directional movement on my controller for this. So turning right now is pretty damn hard. Uh, let me try again. I believe, yeah, you have two two ways of swimming. So you have like a. Uh, a slower move that gives you more precision, and then you have the the actual actual uh, strokes that you take. How come you don't have full directional movement? I think it's something to do with the uh, <coughs> modified N64 I'm playing on. <laughs> uh, rather, uh, yeah, the, the program I use, the program I use doesn't let you bind it properly. Alright, so how do we get through to there? We have to... maybe we have to go from the outside? Is there like a hole in there? I think so. Alright, let me, let me try. Back out. And maybe here? Let's see. Oh, there's a scary man. Oh, shit. Ah! Jesus. Ah! Okay. Uh, I thought controller support was good in modified N64 that allowed for legitimate capture with their legit game cartridges. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm using uh, <clears throat> a, a, a bad mod. <laughs> For my N64, maybe I should I, sh I should look into a better one. It is the most popular choice. Uh, I'll, I'll say that much. But uh, the options are kind of limited in the in the menu, so I'll uh, maybe maybe I'll look into it. Oh, shit, do we get the flying move? Oh, I think we do. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly! Last. Better be easy. What did you say? Boogie eyes? Bo booger eyes? 
Right, so you cannot you cannot fly in command in this game. Uh, you have to actually find the discs to be able to take off. Let me, let me just pick up. Let's, let's finish finish up here first. Let's get collectibles, uh, gold for captain, and then we can go flying. So is there another entrance? Salty Hippo. Good name. What about on this side? Can you swim in from here, perhaps? Yes, you can. Flying on command would kind of defeat the purpose of a platformer, for sure. Oh, come on. Come on. And we're in. A bit of jank. I am feeling the jank a little bit. I was kind of expecting it. But, uh, not too bad. I, I, I still think Banjo Kazooie holds up relatively well. It's it's perfectly playable. Pale Rider! Hydrates. Alright, let me, let me have a second. Let me just mute myself. Alright, Lena, take care, take care. Hello, Defias! Vibrating into chat as always. Everything is well. I'm trying to swim and to collect gold. It's not going super well, because uh, <laughs> my controller and uh, <clears throat> what I use to play my game on is not the best. All the gold? It's just two pieces. Let's, see. Let's have a look. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay, there we go. Me treasure. Thank thank you, artist. Thank this reward. Alright. <laughs> and off he goes! Off he goes. All right, cool. With that, let's uh, let's get all the uh, musical notes over here, and then let's take off. Okay. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. Oh my god, you see that? Holy shit. I think that's a boss. Should we murder? No, let's let's fly first. Let's fly first. Then we can murder murder later. We'll, we'll, we'll save the boss. Okay. So that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to do this. Haha. -ha. Okay. Oh, there's there's actually a mumbo token there. Can you climb up the pole? Any chance? Let's give that a go. Oh, yes, you can! Nice. Alright. Now it's finally time to fly. Off we go. Wait, wait. Maybe there's something up here, too. Hang on. <gasps> there is! Aha! See! I use my brain and I get results! Are you proud of me, chat? Are you proud of me? I'm able to solve the puzzles in this game aimed at like th three year olds. Th three plus audiences game. Okay. Fly higher, you need to. Yes, press the button. Shit. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god. Is this death? This is death. It's a mimic. Oh! Oh my god, no! No! You fucker. Ah! Ah! There's sharks! There's fucking sharks! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That just gave me flashbacks! That used to scare the shit out of me as a kid. I forgot about that. Oh! The shark is so scary. Plays the music too. Listen to this. Oh my god! Ah! Look at him! He's so scary! Scary, scary shark man! Oh my god! 
God, that actually, that, that was like... That was like a, an instinctual, like, reaction to that, of fear. Just feeling of fear. Because I just remember that scaring me so much. God. Okay. I was really young when I played this, by the way, for the first time. I must have been like four or five. I, I, I was not very good. <laughs> I promise you, I was not very good. I, I hope, I hope I do better now than uh, <laughs> when I played this as a kid. I, I remember like a couple of levels and that was it. I uh, obviously didn't know how to speak English and stuff like that and that kind of limits you <laughs> in terms of like how to figure stuff out. My parents didn't know either, so like... Uh, yeah, in certain parts I was just stuck, I remember. That's the problem with, uh, you know, an Americanized industry. Doesn't get, doesn't get localized in Norway. You just have to deal with it. Okay. So, we stole, stole the chicken from the scary man. I know there's a path on the right that allows us to go up the mountain. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. Why not? Okay. Nice and easy, stuck the landing. Ah, oh, my god. I hate these. Something with the eyes. Dead eyes. <laughs> they slurp at you! Oh my fucking god. They slurp talk. Oh shit. Oh my god. I, I really, really would like to shoot some eggs, but... Hang on. Hang on. Oh shit. Get him! Get his ass! There we go. <laughs> I tune in and the first thing I hear is slurp talks, is that uh, surely? That's right, that's right, we, we're slurping right now. Fine says, uh, Mr. Sushi, may I give you a handcrafted and delicious snack? Absolutely! I'll do it fast before I get eaten by this, uh, oh, this scary man. Alright. Man destroyed. Time to eat. Snack from the fires! Thank you so much. pop it in to say uh, I'm so happy you're you're playing this oh I'm happy too yeah it's a childhood classic Whee! and uh, it's been a long time since the last time I played this and uh, it's interesting to to revisit the game you sort of grew up with um, so how about you Shirley is this, is this one of your uh, one of your faves ah why Why is this mean? Why is this mean? I'm sorry, Dev. I'm sorry, Dev. You, you can blame everyone else. But you betray my trust. <laughs> I love that every time. Every time someone uses some of the, the negative rewards, I immediately just get, like, barraged with other, <laughs> with other rewards. I get a pet from Face Rick, I get a kiss from uh, Zandies, I get uh, a boop from Who Waves. Okay. Uh, I cannot control the camera here. Ow! Ernam! You fucker. You absolute fucker. I will come over there. I'm not scared of a- I'm not scared of a tiny lizard. Yeah. Oh my god. That is that is it. That is that is it. You behave. You behave right now. Okay? That's right. You you keep petting. You keep petting. All right. Okay, okay. Ooh. Can we go in? Oh, you, you can, actually. Cool. 
This is a nice touch too, how the music just stops playing when you move really far up. So how do we get this? Do we just have to fly all the way up there? Oh, I think we do. Ow, yeah, there is fall damage. <laughs> Lesson learned. Ooh. Oh, shit. Is that too? Oh! Aha! So there was actually something to collect up there of, of value. There's a jump pad you can't see. Wait, what? On the top? Shortly says, uh, anyway, gotta go to bed. But yeah, didn't actually play this until I was uh, a teen. In 2010 or something, but it's very good. And Banjo is peak stinky himbo design, absolutely. Well, uh, thank you, Shirley, for, for, for dropping by and saying hello. I appreciate it. Even if you don't have time to watch the streams, it's always always nice when uh, someone just uh, comes in to say hi. Have a good night. Oh my god. I didn't see this. Imagine. Imagine if I had to hunt down the, the last musical note. And that was it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, I assume we have to go back to the ship? Someone said there was a pad up there you could use, but I, I didn't see one, so I'll, uh, I'll just go back. Jeez. Scary! This is actually scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back up we go. And to fly up, all you have to do is mash the A button. So, goes. Ah! What is with you? What have I done? <laughs> Why is everyone being mean? I feel so betrayed. I'm here, I'm playing, playing a good vibes game. And everyone hates me. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Here I am. Here I am trying to entertain chat. They, they just. They just. They just want to hurt me. Huh? <laughs> Always been good with you? Oh, there we go. There's the kisses. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Alright! Five kisses from Azim and uh, kiss from Hope. Okay. Oh, there is actually. Oh, there's. Oh, there's. I see. I see. We're talking about the jump pad. Oh my! Yo, wait, wait, just a second here. Oh my God! Twenty community subs. Face wrecked. What are you doing? That is so much money! You're gonna go broke! Oh! Thank you so much! God! God! That's 30 subs in a stream! Holy shit! Holy freaking shit! Face wrecked! Thank you, thank you so much! I, I really, I really don't know how to pay you back! That is, that is so much money! I, I only hope you like the streams, but, uh, wow. Yeah, thank you so much. By the way, I see the chat is, like, misaligned. Let me fix this. Let's move that in a bit. Ah, it's bugging me. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Face Wrecked. Uh, that is, that is insane. No paying back needed, just happy to support you and Nikki. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, well... From from the both of us, like huge thank you. Like uh, it's it's been a really rough year and a half, but uh, the stream has been a super super big highlight in my life recently. And uh, yeah, all of you, all of you, you know, helping me financially it means it means a great deal. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Man, kind of, you just get stunned by that shit, right? How do you, how do you just keep going after? 
<laughs> after someone drops that much money on you. That is insane. Ay ay ay. Okay, okay. Focus, focus. <laughs> I need I need to get this duty. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. So supposedly, uh no, no. I was I was actually supposed to uh, use the jump pad here, but uh, we don't have that ability unlocked. So uh, we'll do it this way. We'll do it. We'll do it the uh, the himbo way. Why not? Oh, that's death, isn't it? Close. There's a Jinjo. Hello. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try to rescue this man. Okay. It wasn't too bad actually. Yeah, let's have a look. So is there a place we can jump from here without horribly dying? Because that would be uh, that would be ideal, I think. Mm. Uh, I guess I guess we'll just have to walk down. Don't do it. <laughs> so tempting though. So tempting. Uh, yeah, I should probably- Oh! Oh my god, silver! With all the corgis! Thank you so much for the 120 bits! And the 100 before that, sorry, I missed that! Thank you so much! Thank you so, so much! Who was it that actually buried me in, in corgis the last time? Was that you, silver? The last time we had this overlay with a bit dropper, someone buried me with only corgis. So that was the thing. Yeah. Yeah, I should, I should probably heal before I uh, <laughs> before I go flying, because I I will find a way to die. I know myself. I don't trust myself. So anything up here? Oh, here's an ability that is gonna come in handy. It's the uh, the ability for the, for the jump pads. Man, I, I swear my posture has gotten worse since I've gotten back to streaming. I, I've started to shrimp when I stream. I need to, I need to sit back. 69 bits from the fires! Thank you so much. And nice. Sorry for the water spray, sushi. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You know I'm joking. You know I'm joking, right? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. I believe there's a whole path over here. Okay. Let's do this one. Can you jump down? I forget. If you, if you do this. Uh... Yes, you can. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. And Jinjo Man over there. Let's do this one. Oh, okay. Go. Oh, shit. Man, it's so hard when the camera doesn't cooperate. Uh, let's try that again. Sushi, fix your posture by streaming while on your feet like me. With, uh, with my standing desk. I have a couple of times, mind you. A couple of times I have. Wig! Thank you so much. Thanks so much for the donation. Uh, yeah, no, I, I do have a standing desk as well. Um, but I can only I can only do like max an hour and a half of standing, or I, I start to feel it. Sushi, are you part of the LGBTQ? Yes, very much so. Very much so. With more corgis. Holy shit. Oh! Oh! This crab is killing me. Oh! oh my god. Okay, here we go. Decked him. Decked him to death. A boop from, uh, from Fos... Wait. Fo Fosksy. Fosksy. Oh, difficult name to pronounce. Fosksy. Hello. Are 
you doing? Careful. Careful not taking any chances here. <laughs> Oof. Okay, okay. Anything down here though? Just a lone crab? Mm, I wonder. Full of burger! Welcome back by various. Oh my Jesus! Oh my god! Mike Husky with 1,000 bits! Holy shit, thank you so much! Wow, 1,000, huh? Thank you, thank you so much! And a hype train, starting a hype train, thank you everyone! Your support today has been absolutely insane. It was yesterday too, but today is, is on par. Thank you, thank you so much. I, uh, I'm honestly speechless. I, I don't know what to say other than, than thank you over and over again. It's, uh, yeah, it means, it means a great deal. A kiss from Mike Husky. Okay. So, is there actually anything here, or...? It's not. It's not. Uh, let me see. Mr. if Sushi said anything about this, but you can tip him via Streamlabs. There's a link below, video player. Yeah, yeah, there is. You can also do exclamation mark tip or donate in chat, I think. Gives you the link. But, uh, just so everyone is aware, I, I, I know I'm getting a lot of big donations right now. Donations are never, ever, ever expected, okay? Only, only donate if you really feel like it and if, if you can afford to. Uh, just watching is just as important, and, and I really mean that. I, I really mean that. Thank you so much, though. Oh my god, Mike with two community subs as well. Holy shit. And Buck with a community sub. Whoa. You guys. You guys. Whoa, slow down. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Level 2 hype train. Amazing. I don't, I don't know what to say. This is uh, an, an excellent, excellent end to the month. Oh my god, with all of these donations. It's gonna really, really help. Uh, you know, having having had to take a break from streaming and everything, uh, I, I, I do get some revenue from streaming these days. So, having taken 10 days off, uh, I was, I was kind of worried that maybe, maybe I couldn't really afford to take that time off. But, uh, but honestly, you've more, more than enough made up for it, so I... I appreciate you all, thank you so much. Uh, this genuinely helps pay the bills, helps pay the rent, all of that, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Boom! With 420! Thank you. Okay, uh, is there actually anything in this chest? Sorry I'm getting a bit distracted, by the way, but when people donate like this, it's... How can I not be? How can I not be? <laughs> oh! not Sky with 11 pounds, 13 pence! Wow! Thank you, thank you so much. That is, that is dinner paid for, thank you so much. Love the chest mimics. Yeah, me too, except I'm really struggling to jump in. Okay, here we go. Mike, with 300 more bits, thank you so much, but I... Listen, listen, I, I really... Just be careful, don't spend too much money on me. I, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I appreciate all the support, but only, only donate if you can afford to, I, I mean that. He eats eggs? Wait, he steals your fucking eggs, does he? You fucker, you need to die. This fucker needs to die, right now. Like that. Fucker. Jeez. Okay. Hello Kitsune! How's it going? Ghost, come on! Ah! Oh, it's so hard to measure. I don't know if it's just like a problem I have, like measuring the depth of the field. This, this is like the same problem I have with Crash Bandicoot games. The camera is like at a certain angle, it's so hard for me to measure distance. 
am I doing? I'm I'm doing great. Enjoying some Banjo Kazooie, which is uh, nice, nice and relatively chill. I'm gonna say. <laughs> My voice is a little bit shot today, so I'm trying not to not to shout too much. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a great freaking week. I have zero complaints, and I just fell off. Wow. Yeah, I. I Next time we play this, I, I need to find a better controller. I'm gonna maybe swap to like the Switch controller or something. This is uh, this just is not up to the, up to the task. <laughs> Camera is all, always the enemy in this era of gaming. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, I almost just fell off again because I was looking at chat. I'm smart. I'm very smart. Okay, I think this is for... yeah. So the flying pad on the ship you have to use to traverse around the island, I seem to recall. My god, Mike Husky! Two more subs! I don't know what to say, thank you so much! That is, that is huge, you've donated a lot of money just now, thank you so much. Oh! You see that? It like sort of veers to one side because... I only have the directions, I don't have like 360 analog control, for some reason. I, I do wonder if it is the emulator, I really do wonder. Or if it's actually my controller. But my controller is, is known to be shit, <laughs> I've had this since forever. So I need an upgrade too. Ugh. Mike with one more month! Oh my god. Wait, level 3 complete of the high train, thank you so much Mike. You are, you are dropping a huge amount of money. I really, really hope you can afford it. But thank you so much. Leaky patched up, now empty. Right. Yeah, so you poop eggs into the bucket to fill up a leak? Question mark. <laughs> and that drains the ocean. Yes. Love a bit of banjo logic. Okay. Lucky Wolf with 100 bits, thank you so much. Okay. Can I jump up here? Can, right? I hope so. Ah, please! I just do a double jump instead, maybe? I'll try that. Do from here and then. Does that work? Ah, almost. This camera too. It's like sticking glue to the ground. Oh, all right. Fuck this. Fuck this for now. Come back to it. Mike Husky with 16 more bits. Thank you. Hey, Furball. You're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Scary, the scary crab in here wants us to do a puzzle. So let's see. What could it be? Is it... Is there a B here? They usually like to do the title of the game a lot of the time. Is it just a B? Banjo? Kazooie? <laughs> Kids, don't talk to strange crabs with puzzles. Yes, absolutely. Do not follow my example, okay? The M. M. J. O. Uh, come on. Just okay. Oh, am I blind? Uh, wait. Oh, it's here. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, this is timed, by the way, I just realized. Another A, another A, uh... Z... Z... Shit. Z! Did you ever unlock the cheat codes in here? Yes, I seem to recall doing so. But I don't remember what they did. <laughs> it's been too long. Okay, I think we're good. Hey, all right. But first, I'll pop ya. 
I'll cut you down to size. All right, you have to kill. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I, I need I need that puzzle piece. You have to die. And there we go. Nice. Uh, am I gonna be live tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, check the schedule. Five days a week, I'm live. Oh shit. I just... there we go. How's the sushi? I'm doing great. Well, like I said, it's been uh, an excellent uh, week in general. No complaints, no complaints. Just been uh, sort of working on my projects and stuff like that at my own pace, and it's uh, it's been nice and cozy. Good, because I'm gonna have another $100 to spend on you. No, come on, come on. You've donated so much. It's it's really, it's okay. It's okay. You, you don't have to drop that much money. Uh, I appreciate it, but uh, save it. Save it. Uh, Immortal the White Fox with a kiss. How are you doing, by the way, Immortal? Is there anything else to get here? I'm trying to look. I think we have to go out and in again, right, to, to do different codes. We got the jiggy, so I'm just gonna, just gonna leave for now. Thank you for the hype train, everyone. Level four. That is seven gift subs and uh, let me see, and two thousand three three hundred seventy-four bits. Thank you so much. Huge, huge amount of support today. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's let's do the the main puzzle of this level. Uh, is flying around and ground pounding. Let's see. So I believe if we go across here, it should be a large X compound. Mike with 1,000 more bits. Holy shit. Mike, thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm, out, I'm out of words. I can, I can only say thank you in so many different ways. But thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hello, happy, uh, happy grounds. How's it going? Today's been... Hope today's been alright. Yeah, so there's lots of stuff over here too. We'll uh, we'll have to come back for that because I don't don't want to lose flight. Oh, there's a man. Can I grab him? Oh yes! Look at that! And pound it! Pound it! There we go. If I told you I have secret chippy waiting for you, sushi? Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Am I getting spoiled today? You know what? That, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. I could go for some chippy today. You know, like, for me, it's like you get towards the end of the week and you suddenly start to crave a lot of things. I don't know if you're the same, but, uh... Yeah, I'm starting to crave the snacks. It's, it's that time again. Yeah. Go, and one more, I think. Two more. Brave my weekly Friday pizza. Already thinking about it. Yeah. Nikki, what are what are we doing tomorrow for, for food? Today we had uh, what was it? We had. What's it called? What the hell is it called? It's a German dish. It's a uh, sausage, sausage platter. Yeah, but that doesn't really describe it. It's like um, uh, it's like bratwurst sausages mixed with sweet potato, regular potato roasted in the oven. And then you have like curry powder over it. And like a, a really, really strong tomato sauce. Uh, German style curry sausage tray bakes as boss pal. Anyway, yeah, whatever. It was nice. It was nice. Trust me. Oh my god, happy grunt with the uh, with the sub! That's uh tier one, thank you so much. That's the first time you've subbed. Well, thank you so so much for uh, for supporting the stream. You know, when people decide to to after after coming back to the stream a couple of times, they decide to drop drop a sub. That's like the best feeling in the world. Like people returning to the stream and wanting to support it. Thank you so much. It, it genuinely means a lot. Okay. 
Do I, do I have to kill this man? What do I do with this man? Uh... Eggs? You want eggs? Yes, he wants eggs. Okay. Okay. What's up next? What does that say? So yesterday was a lot of fun to watch. Well, thank you. So oh, here's the shark. Shark food Island. Ah, oh, I've been bamboozled. Oh, holy fucking shit! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that is so fucking mean. <laughs> they make you. They make you want to explore to see what the sign says. Oh my god. I can't fucking believe this. Immortal the White Fox with the resub. That's two months Immortal has been around in Sushi Life. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Thank you so much for the sub. Right. Oh, you can't even go there. You just die. You just die if you try to. Ooh, if you try to go there. Oh my god, Mike with two more community subs. Mike, honestly, honestly. Be careful, yeah? Be careful that you're dropping so much money. I I'm kind of scared. Thank you so much, but. Please. Please, thank you. Okay. Number two. Tasty sushi? Oh, you. Oh, you. Okay. Happy ground with- Oh my god, two community subs. I don't know what to say. How many subs is this in one stream? Thank you, thank you so much. Happy grunt. Man, hang on. Can I see this somehow? I, I need to I need to have a look for a sec. So let me see. 25 pounds from Legwolf like Face Wreck with 10 subs. Uh Sora Not Sky with a gift to Shinru. We have Shinru with another gift to Mike. And then Face Wreck with 20 subs. And then Silver with one. Mike Husky with two, Buck Dragonfur with one sub, 11 pounds from Sora Not Sky, Mike Husky with two subs, Mike Husky with another sub, Happy Grunt with one sub, Mike Husky with two subs, and Happy Grunt with two more. That is... This is ridiculous. Yeah, the horde today is gonna be absolutely insane. Again! Again! Yesterday we had like the biggest record break in a, in a long time. And uh... Yeah, it looks like we're well on the way to, to breaking yesterday again, so thank you so much. I, uh, I'm blown away. This is, uh, man. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what to say, except it just, it makes, it does legitimately make a huge difference, so, so thank you so much. Uh, it goes a long way. Uh, Postbell and I, I've told stories about this before, but we live in a pretty rough area, and we're really trying to save up as much as we can to move. Get out of here, hopefully in the next couple of months. So, uh, all the money that, you know, all the extra money goes right into saving up for that. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a huge help, and I, I appreciate it so much. Okay, so... Got the treasure. Uh, what's next? I guess we could fly to the other side and just get all of the stuff there first. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, we, we pounded all the stuff here. I assume there's still gonna be, uh... Music notes to get here and also the Jinjos. So yeah, let's drop off here actually. Get the health. It's probably gonna get eaten by the shark again. Happy Grunt with 30 more bits. Thank you so much. And Mike with 10 more. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's get these. And I think we have to go up here later, so we can probably just go to this actually. Ow! Emerald! What's the deal? What gives? They pulled me a sushi again? No! No! Oh 
Maybe, maybe in the, in the Dubai various stream, you nibble on people. It's a, it's a shark stream. But here on Sushi Live, no, no nibbling, okay? You, you play it nice. This camera is, is doing things. It sure is doing things. Oh my god. A snack from Lena! Thank you so much, Lena. Okay, so we have we have to be smart about this because I do not want to die here. Uh Guess we just jump from crate to crate. And Ooh, ghost. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> I love I love how they hide a bunch of like one-ups in the water. Like, all the one-ups in this level, they're just underwater right next to the shark. Wow! Vinny! What the fuck? Uh, Mike? I appreciate all the donations, but I'm, I'm gonna ask, have to ask you to calm it down a little bit. That is, that is a bit too much. Alright. Like, thank you for all your generosity. You're coming on a little bit strong, I have, I have to say. I'd wait from Happy Grunt! Right. Let me let me mute myself for a sec. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> right as I as I mute myself. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I can fix this. Here, extra pet from Real Bad Badger. Hello, welcome, our man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take this opportunity to reset my 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 post a bit. So. Fix my posture. Ah, huh. there we go. By the way, I'm I'm pretty much starting to get buried. You can just see like my jaw like barely going over so all the bits. Holy shit. Oh my god, cube seal! Three some! That's three months cube seal has been uh, in sushi live here. So thank you so much for all the continued support. The boop from Happy Grunt. Is that Natey I see in chat? Hello! We're, we're playing a game about a, a bear and a bird. And you can poop eggs. So, uh, so yeah, I figured this might be uh, your kind of game. <laughs> it's me, I'm the bird, yeah. I have Natey in my backpack. That's literally Natey I have there. A boop from Agitated Lemon. Immortal says, not doing so good. My cat was looking for food earlier. It makes me sad to see her. She's underweight, struggle with weight all her life. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Got diabetes, huh? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Immortal. That's 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 a real shame to hear. Um, I, I know what it's like to have to have pets who you know get ill and they get sick. So yeah. Really sorry to hear. I, I sympathize with you. But, uh, yeah. So, how old? 13, 14. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's really hard. Like I said, I I, I sympathize with it. It, it is as, as sad as it is. It is a part of life. Um, and it is a part of having pets. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish wish you all the best, uh, Immortal. Oh, these janky stairs. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, does this man have any, any stuff? Oh my God, two skulls, really? Can jackpot. Double e combo com. Hell yeah. Okay. So I assume this thing is probably gonna attack us, huh? 
probably gonna swim towards this too, right? There has to be something here, right? I'm going in. There is! It's cheeky. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta... Gonna get going now, gotta get ready for work. Alright, well, thank you, Mike, for all the donations. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And, uh, have a good day at work. Probably just exit this level soon, to be honest. We should do the boss battle and then uh, just get out of here. Because uh, we can come back and collect more stuff later. I would rather we, we check out one more level before we end today. So, let's get this. Let's get the musical notes. Let's get all the health. And, come on. <laughs> come on. And then, uh, let's fight the giant crab. Let's, let's fucking go. Thing down here. Oh, there's a skull. Shit. Uh, don't mind me. The <laughs> swimming. The swimming is so jank. Oh, I did not like it. Okay, we're free. Down we go. And what do you have? What is that? What is that? Camera, please. Camera! <laughs> okay. No spoilers, I guess. You have to find out. Ow. His eggs? So many creatures terrified me as a kid. One was this treasure chest, yeah. For me, it was the shark on this level. We've we talked about the shark quite a bit. Uh, because I forgot entirely that when you jump into the water, you get chased by a shark and it bites you to death. It's scary. It's absolutely terrifying. Alright, speaking of terrifying... <laughs> right, I, I believe we have some kind of a boss battle. Cheeky bird need feathers clip clips clipped clipping. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is terrifying. He's, he has such a happy face though. He's smiling. Right, do I just do I just poke him in the eyes? I see my poke him in the eyes. That's usually how it goes. Rawr! You hurt nipple makes me mad. I love this version of the song though. It's great. Is there a Discord? Yes, there is. Ah! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> eee! <laughs> it's a wonderful death screen. Gotta say, gotta say the voice clips they use in this. Absolutely stellar. Eee! It's like a, that's a, like the sound Raichu makes sometimes. I mean, like, me falls in fall guys. It goes E. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! No, 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 no! Oh shit, I'm about to die. Oh, don't mess this up. Don't, don't mess this up. Get his ass. Get his ass. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Right, seven jiggies, not freaking bad. I think that's enough for uh, for a new level. So I say, let's uh, move on from this for now, and we can complete this hopefully uh, at some point later. Maybe next stream we can come back to this. I would I would like to get some variety in when we when we sort of do this. So uh, let's jump between levels a bit. Why not? Let me see. So I believe we can exit the levels by just going back to the start, right? Like a little pad you can step on. Right? Right? Shit. Can we make, yeah, get his ass so she's catchphrase? Sure. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, there's a man. There's a little blue man. Oh, there's sharks too. Oh, oh my 
god! What the fudge? <laughs> no! What do you mean? What do you mean? How am I supposed to get the blue man? Uh, sushi, I don't understand what's happening with your stream today. I have quality options. Oh, it's it's like I said yesterday. Uh, affiliates only get quality options when Amazon has uh, bandwidth to spare, essentially. Partners are guaranteed quality options. Uh, affiliates only sometimes. So it probably means that not as many people are streaming today. Oh! There's just no way. What the hell? You just you just have to take the hits, don't you? Okay, okay. Well, shit. Before I leave, I, I need to get the blue man. I'm sorry. This, this shark is, is really picking me off, okay? I will I will not be bullied by a shark. I refuse. It's not a ginger, that's a ninja, really? I thought those were only second game. I don't know if you're joking. <laughs> There's some... Wait, there's some sub-song thing going on with a different variation of songs seamlessly go into each other? What do you mean? How the, how the music just sort of changes based on where you are in the level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that was uh, a, a relatively uh, common trick on, on the N64, but... Banjo-Kazooie is uh, it's by far the one to use the most that I, that I know of. They're only in 2E, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought so. I thought so. I could have sworn. Because they do they do that thing. Well, they absolutely... By the way, yeah, th I'm just gonna... We're probably probably gonna play 2 at some point, but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna spoil this. In banjo Tui, they have versions of these collectible colorful guys, you know? Like the, the, the Jinjos, they have versions of those that are evil. And so you only find out that they're evil when you step up to them, and then they attack you. So it's like a total, total betrayal of trust that you've built up with the player. And it's scary as shit. I- it actually fucking scares the shit out of me. When they jump at you. Get him! Get him! No! Oh, please! Come with me, sir! Sir! Go with me! Take my hand! Please! No! Come here! Please! Mister! No! No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh. Still a bit shaken from all the support. Me too. Me too. Uh, man. Yeah, I... We'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it when, uh, when we do the horde again. That's, uh... Yeah, it's it's been insane today. Thank you so much, everyone. It says the invite is invalid. Really? Is that true? Maybe all the invites uh, have been used. Maybe I have to refresh it. Uh, tell you what, if you if you stick around and chat uh, until I do the horde, I, I can post the link then. But right now, I uh, I'm not in a position to do so. Or one of the mods perhaps could get just like a temporary invite link. Be good. I send it. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, thank you, boss pal. All right. Okay. So let's heal up and then let's find the next level. I believe we have enough uh, enough jiggies to to open up um, another painting. Oops. Ah, oh, I, I, I'm so used to like the long jump in Mario 64 that I, I tried to do that move and it's the same buttons, uh, right, for, for the backflip. And I always think I'm gonna do like a long jump forward. No, it's, it's the backflip. Ah. Okay. So where do we go from here? Can you climb up? Yes, you can. Here's a scary man that we have to murder. It's fine. One eighty. Ah, perfect. Just barely. Just barely made it in. Ah. 
Wow. So not only do you have paintings of yourself, you have uh, carpets of yourself, and you also have a, a giant statue with a jail cell in it. Cool. Man, I wish I had like a proper secret lair. Big castle. I'm jealous. I, I, I want the Gruntilda lifestyle. Tuna, tuna toothpaste and, and big big fortress with statues of yourself. Cool. I want that lifestyle. All right, so this is locked off. Uh, I believe we're going to the swamp, huh? I think we are. Sushi admitting he wants to be a villain <laughs> on stream, yeah. It's, it's a shame, you know, with, with the property market being like it is and our generation not being able to buy housing, you can't be an evil villain. You just don't get that opportunity. You can't buy an evil castle, you know? So to be honest, does the Kazooie I drew look even remotely like Kazooie? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone go go look at that art, by the way. If, uh didn't see it, but Nick, during during the stream today, they drew uh, a title card, Banjo Kazooie, which I uh, I used. It's on Twitter. Go have a look. It's wonderful. I might actually show it at the end too, if someone uh, reminds me. Pull it up before we do the work. Okay, this camera is whack. This camera is total whack. Uh, ugh. Can I go in here? This is bad. Oh! Oh. Her model is actually pretty damn good. She looks a lot better than uh, the others. Wait, hang on. What, what, are you, what, what are you saying? Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. Okay, there's another fact about Gruntilda. Chat, you have to remember this. I mean it. It actually comes into play later, all of these facts we get from the fairy. So remember that, she went to Fat Hag High. Very important. Get three per visit? Really? Fuck is his noise. Alright, in that case, in that case, let's listen to the, uh, the other two. Uh, remember that the entire game can also just check back, yeah. I'll, I'll get to- I'll get the others too. Let's- let's get them out of the way. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is performing a scary striptease. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? That's in there? Scary striptease. Children's game, by the way. Three plus. That's kind of- that kind of shook me. That kind of shook me, but yeah, Rare are absolute perverts. You know, in, in Banjo-Tooie, one of the levels, one of the, the segments of, I think it's, uh... uh pterodact pterodactyl land or something? Uh, there's literally just a penis. The land, the land itself, the islands are shaped like a penis. Like, pissing. It's, it's just in there. You see it if you fly. But, uh, normally you just jump from platform to platform, but if, if you fly, it's just a big dong. Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's get the first fact again, because I, I missed it. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Alright, belly barging, remember this, okay? Remember this. Don't forget. Fat hag high, that was one. Belly barging, and then... And then scary striptease, yeah, scary striptease, that's the party trick. And tuna toothpaste, yes, correct. Uh, so how do I open this? Time to use my, uh, my brain again. Okay, so clearly I think we need to go somewhere else to be able to go in here. Golden feather under the bridge, yeah, I saw that. I think if I jump in this, I start to take damage, right? Maybe I can jump across here? Does that work? Well, that is death, I think. I think that's death. I think I'm doing myself. I should, I should have gone back. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. 
I think I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! Oh, I'm not not supposed to be here, but I, I made it. So this is uh, Frizzy's Peak, uh, which uh, I really don't want to unlock right now, actually. So I'm just uh, maybe going to go back. Go back. So uh, yeah, but here's the next level after this again. I, I just didn't see the gates to unlock. Unlock uh, the swamp. We still have boots. Is there a cauldron here by any chance? Oh, Eptev! Snack. Thank you, Eptev! Thank you so much. Not sure if that's a speedrun strat. I <laughs> I guess so, but now I have to die, so there's no there's no way back without dying, so I'm just gonna get eaten, I guess. Goodbye. Cruel world. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough. Haha! -ha! Good one. Death by nibbles. Yeah. Okay. This camera is <laughs> it's just doing its own thing. Uh, shit. Okay, so the gate to this place has to be in here. I, I assume there's some path we did not go down. Uh. Let me see. Oh, she's here too? Really? More facts. Okay. More facts. Alright, everyone. Remember this. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster. A dirty hag. Yeah, like like Nico Possum. That's an easy one. We can we can just we can just like associate that with Nico Possum. Because they all also sleep in a dumpster. Perfect. Next one. The only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition. <laughs> At which school? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Leo, get in here right now! She's off she often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly. Sitting on her broomstick. Okay. So, dumpster? Sweatiest socks? Uh, she's often on the front page of... What was it? Ug ugliest... Ugliest hag or something? Monthly? Alright, remember this! Very important! I mean it! Okay, so the question here is, how do I actually get to the next level? I don't know where to go! We have this door here. Do we need this door first? No, that doesn't make sense because we collected half half the musical notes in in um, the level we were just in. So, I, yeah, okay. I assume maybe you're supposed to get up on up on the statue at some point. I don't think I can yet. Still here, I want you to play, but I can't think of much to say. Very good, very good. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just going back then. Maybe we missed something over here. Who knows? Okay. Slide down. There's a pipe over here. Oh, there's a scary man. Let's go in the pipe. Oh, cauldron! Nice! We've activated the magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Rawr. I I really I really like the characters who have like the voice the voice samples that are just like the developers making sounds with their mouth. There's like a whoosh, a whoosh sound in this game. That is just clearly some guy going whoosh. I think that's so good. Just say this is one of your favorite N64 games, Sushi? Yeah, it's up there. It's up there for sure. But, uh, replaying it? I don't think it holds up, uh, to Mario 64. I think the presentation in Banjo Kazooie is, is a lot better and a lot more interesting and well rounded than Mario 64. But gameplay wise, man, Mario 64 controls so well. Banjo Kazooie, it's, I'm starting to feel some of, some of the decay the old control scheme here. It's a little stiff. 
think it's slightly better in Tui. But uh, on the whole, yeah, no. For what it is, you know. For what it is, I, I love Benjamin. It's, it's, it's a great little game. A lot of charm. On a console where making something charming is, is quite difficult. <laughs> it really is. I feel like it's mostly it's mostly like the first part in Nintendo games and it's rare. It has like the the really well-rounded visuals and and, and and worlds. I don't know. Still absolutely love 2e. 2e is great. It's just really frustrating in parts. But uh, if you like games with a lot of good boss battles, 2e has a lot of them. Never fully connected with Kazooie much. I, I I can get that. I can get that if Tui Tui and uh, wait. Are you saying Tuti or Tui? Because Tuti is the sister. Now I'm confused. If you're talking about Tui, the game, then I can I can see that they are they are a bit different from each other. Okay, I've... <laughs> I've managed to get a bit lost. No idea where I am. Typo, yeah. I, I figured you meant, uh, you meant to be. Button, I think? God, this place is huge. Uh... Pipe's good, I guess. Question mark? On the back of Grunty's hand, walks your butt, you'll hardly stand. Sounds like a good time. Uh, is it me or is the water just cut over there? Oh, I think that's supposed to be lighting. I could be wrong. I think there's a pipe that goes over it, and that's a shadow being cast into the into the water. I think so. I think so, but I see what you mean. Okay, so that was on the other side again. All right. Uh, is there anything? Can I break this? Let's see if I can't. Wrong, but right. Anything up there? Nope. <laughs> Good time we're talking about Gruntilda doing that, are you sure? Uh, okay, fine. Fine, fine. But just in general. No, I, I shouldn't say that. Why am I saying this? <laughs> I need to shut up. I need to shut up. Why am I like this? Why am I like that? Oh my god, more hints, huh? Okay, here goes. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. Okay. How to get judged by chat? I've never played Banjo Kazooie. Hello, Blackest Place. Hello, Blackest Place. Yeah, we're playing Banjo Kazooie. It's, uh, it's a great time so far. How are you finding it, everyone? Is this, uh, is this interesting to watch? Oh, I missed the hint. Stupid. My sister sings in her own band. Grunty and the... Broomstick Boys! They're awful! <laughs> Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. Oh, she heals you as well. Cool. Let's do one more. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. Okay. Ripper is the dog. Ripper is the dog. Remember this, chat. Oh, I really would like to turn the camera here. I could just uh, look what's ahead of me instead of... Because, like, when a camera, like, swings around, you start to move in that same direction with the camera, so you, like, you start turning and you walk off. It's the worst. Alright. We've opened something. Let's do a dive. Oh, I, w I wish you could turn faster. I guess the way to do this best is to do, the, do like the big strokes and then you can like immediately stop it with this. Okay. I think I get it. Kinda, it kind of feels like with the, with the long strokes you have to commit, you're kind of stuck. Okay. Alright, up we go this, this slimy path. I don't know what this texture is supposed to be. It looks slimy. Oh, here's the swamp. That was, uh... 
yeah, so like I said earlier, that is a lot of effort just to unlock a level, so this is not like your uh, normal hub world. It's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. You want to? Mm, yes, I get it. Ooh, big croc. Shit. Oh, there's gonna be a vor thing, isn't there? Yeah, I think you go into the croc. I remember this. Always with the crocs in games. Always a vor, vor segment. And I can hide my shame behind this wall of bits. Okay. There was a strange amount of vor in older games. Oh, absolutely. Your butts will tell you, and you'll know. My boot swings to and fro. <laughs> they had so much fun doing the rhymes, didn't they? That is so much fun. Praylin, hello! Long time no see. Welcome to Sushi Live. We're playing some Banjo Kazooie today. How's it going? Hope you're well. Nothing to be ashamed of, Sushi. It's 2021. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty shameless. <laughs> I, I, I I like to own it. I like to be weird and then just own it. But uh, yeah, you know, you know. Sometimes I feel judged. If if chat has like no reaction, that's almost worse. That's almost worse than if you just go like ew. I'm like four. Yeah, me neither. Okay. So we have the level unlocked, we just have to talent trot up here. Your weirdness is what makes you so lovable. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but I'll take it. I'll take any victory I can get. Makes me unique, at least. Right? Hopefully. <sighs> oh, today's a weird stream. There's weird vibes in the air today on Sushi Live. I don't know. I don't know if it's the game or it's, it's something else. Something else. You, you sure? <laughs> you are sure one of a kind. <laughs> I sure am. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's. Uh, I, I can't tell which tone you're going with, Lena. I, I hope. I hope it's a good one. Oh. This is a nightmare. Uh, this controller is just not for this. Ooh. Okay. I really wish I had an actual N64 controller for this. That that would actually be heaven. Because this game is a lot easier to play with an N64 controller. That is that is actually no joke. Your eyes open. Your new move. Okay. Finding a new move. Sushi would 100% taste like raspberry cotton candy. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I, I hear cotton candy a lot. I hear marshmallows. Um, what else do we have? That I like smell like. Ice? Do I smell like rice? No. I am laughing so much. It makes me feel better. Good. 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 Type it out sometimes, okay? Just type haha, -ha, so I know you're laughing. <laughs> if it's too quiet in chat, I get anxious. <laughs> It's like, oh shit, I'm being- I'm being too weird. I'm being too weird for chat. Haha, <laughs> haha, <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Hee hee ha ha ho ho, perfect. What type that I'm painting? Use- use text-to-speech, Bibi. Just be like, haha. -ha. Okay, Google. Write haha -ha in Sushi First Chat. Okay, shark. Typing haha in sushi first chat. BTS would be so dangerous. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> okay, Google. Haha. Send. Sushi smell like cocking rice. I assume that's cooking rice and not cocking rice. We have our boobs! Yeah! Long legs! Nate TTF, look at this! Oh, 
But you cannot jump, right? You see, so you, you sort of have to commit. You have to commit. I'm jumping. Wait, yes you can! What the hell? It wasn't working for a sec. Maybe while you're not- while you're in the swamp water, you can jump? Hang on, I need to try that again. That was weird. What's this? Oh my god. You know what this is? This is like a really, 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 really thin path you have to walk around. With extreme precision. And you have 40 seconds. It's... this is gonna be rough. I don't- I, there's no way I can do this with this controller. Uh, Immortal, uh, take care, take care, thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you feel better about everything that it's, uh, it's hard to hear. Alright, restart this, oh, you can, okay. Alright, you, you have to, you have to talent trot as well, okay. Do it, I believe in you, there's no way. Like I said, this controller, either it's the controller, or it's the <clears throat> custom, uh, custom. <laughs> Modified N64 I'm playing on, uh, that uh, does not really allow, uh, proper directional movement, because I can only move up, down, left, and right. I can't do, like, the 360 degrees of movement, so this is gonna be a rough one. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I have no choice, I have to do it like this. Oh! Oh! It's a mumble skull. Uh! Oh! <laughs> Shit! Oh, that was actually pretty good, considering the circumstances. Alright, one more. Oh! Alright, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. One last. You know, it just it just goes off. You sends me off. Yeah, I I I need to look into a better solution for next time because yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the N64 has like full directional movement, right? Like it's not just me. It's not just supposed to be up, down, left, right. Something's definitely uh something's definitely off. You can do the thing. <laughs> Thank you, Onio. <laughs> Thank you, Anio, for the words of encouragement. Yeah! Hello. Oh, you fucker. You need to die. You need to die. Oh! Please! No! 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 The frog fucking murdered me! You killed by frog! Oh, there's switchblade on the stick? Yeah. But you are supposed to have freaking full movements. Got froggered? Yeah. Got crazy frogs. Oh shit. Oh shit. I should, I should, yeah. We'll just wait it out here. Let's, uh. What about the vor thing? Let's do the vor thing. Just a croc. Uh, I think over here you have to fight a bunch of frogs. Not Crazy Frog? What, you don't like Crazy Frog? Absolute classic. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Legitimate question. If, if you're from Europe... Remember, like, around the time uh, Crazy Frog was big, there was also another, like, mascot. And it was, uh, it was based around a song that was made by, like, a kid in Germany. And it was called, like, Schnappi das kleine Krokodil. Does anyone remember that? Or is that just, like, a fever dream? I've had at some point. So I seem to recall being, like, during the summer, being at, like, a concert. And there was, like, a, a dude dancing around in, like, a, a, a crocodile costume while that song was playing. Don't make me feel old. So it's, it's not just me. Oh my god. <laughs> why did that catch on? Can I just ask, why did that catch on? It was like a three-year-old three, three year old singing a song. And like, 2004, 2000, 2005, people were just like all about that. That was like the top, top one single on the radio, like what? 
What was that? It doesn't feel real. Big egg. Holy shit, big egg. Huge egg. Uh, guess I have to hatch this egg. Fuck. Fuck. Give me this. Oh! Okay. That's right, it's, it's egg time. It's egg time. Here it goes. You have to crack it open. Not even hatch, just like slam it open. Oh shit. Fuck. It's got layers. There's an egg inside the egg. Fuck. A kiss from PP63. Thank you so much. Egg hatching is too. I mean, I wasn't really referring to anything in specific, just. <laughs> There's a big egg here, and we have to break it open. Seen an egg inside an egg IRL before? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Ah! Okay. Eggs notable for having layers like ogres? It's like super rare? Cool. I want to see an egg inside an egg. Uh, I've had eggs inside eggs and eggs with three to four yolks. Yeah, multiple yolks I've had tons of times. Once cracked a three yolk egg, I felt like a god's snick. God. Oh, an ugly hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Fucking up. Oh. Fucking frogs. Alright, come over here. I'll fucking. I'll slap ya. Oh! Come here! You fucker! Jump over me! Here we go! One down. Oh my god, the frames are. Going places almost. <laughs> Game is struggling. Oh! <laughs> no! Fuck you know. Oh! Oh! Come here! You fucker! Okay, dead. Oh! Oh my god! This is like the hardest thing ever. Jeez! <laughs> I keep falling into the water. I'm getting hurt. Okay, okay. Come on. Yeah, alright, alright. One more. Last one. Uh, sorry not Sky says, alright, gotta gotta go home now. Glad this stream has gone so well. Good work, Sushi. Have a nice evening. All. Well, thank you so much, Sora, for saying hello and for watching. Oh, please! Come on! Get his ass! Get his ass! Come on! There we go! Blub! You're too tough for us flibbits. Take our gold. Thanks. Yeah! Alright. Okay, we're making good progress. Uh, how far in are we? Two hours, 40 minutes? Alright. Let's do a couple more, uh, a couple more jiggies and then I think I'm... Um, I'm about happy to end the stream, to be honest. It's a big turtle. Tomorrow, by the way, uh, if in case some of you are, are starting to, to head to bed and stuff like that, we are uh, doing Blue Shift, Half-Life Blue Shift, so uh, if you like the posting force, then it's essentially going to be more of that. Gearbox developed Half-Life, so uh, yeah, I hope, hope to see you there. And then we might, we might finish off Night in the Woods on Sunday, don't hold me to that. Nothing scheduled. But uh, if I'm bored, and if I feel like it, I'll uh, be sure to stream rest. I don't know why we're hurting this turtle, but uh, I don't know. Oh. 
Oh my god! I didn't hear that the first time. That's a great scream. Ooh! Ooh! Hanged up swarm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Can I hear mosquito buzzing in this game, or do I have one in my room? Yes, it's part of the song, I believe. Alright, and then, uh, there's actually two Vor segments in this. So here's the first one. I, I believe we have to go into this turtle. I don't know. Don't ask me. So, uh, what does the turtle have inside of him? Ah, yes. An orche orchestra. A laggy orchestra. More of them you see. Fewer frames you have. Okay. Hello. Quiet, please. The famous tip-top choir will now perform my latest work. Hey, this guy's in Diddy Kong Racing. That's him. Bit short, isn't it? I'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. What do you mean? They're just like... No, that's not right. Try again or ask me to repeat. Okay, repeat please. Oh dear, forgotten already. Here it is. Sushi's attention span? Listen. Okay. Listen. What do you stream? When you stream, it's 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 a different thing than just sitting by yourself and playing a game. It really is. Because uh, I have one eye on the chat, I have one eye on the game, and uh, I'm also trying to keep conversation always flowing, so it's a lot of things to focus on. Sometimes you really, really just have to like stop and focus on one thing. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! No fucking way! That is absolutely incredible! The first, the first Nico Possum art wheel is here! My friends, let me pause the game! Let me pause the game! And we are doing a spin for Teddy! Teddy, well done for saving up 75,000 channel points! Holy shit! Thank you so much! For your continued watching, for your continued support, for helping moderate, you're the best. One second, I'll be back with the wheel. That was actually, actually, truly unexpected. Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't see that coming either. Well done, Teddy. Now, now there's still a bit of chance left in here, because remember, we are spinning a wheel, and you have a one out of three chance to win some art from Nick. So I'm, I'm really, really crossing my fingers for you. Uh, where's my background? Wait a sec. It's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we are. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me turn this back on. There we go. Okay. My friends, it's time for the art wheel. It's time for the art wheel. Let's, uh, let's see if I have this ready on the go here. Eh? And Streamlabs, let's see, let's see. Let me remove the events for now. Like so. Here we are. Here we are, Teddy. Whenever, whenever you are ready, we will spin the wheel. And like I said, one out of three chance to win a post pal from Doodle. 33% chance. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ready? That's... wait, that's not a one in three, that's a three in three. What do you mean? Huh? Three in three? Ah, whatever. Teddy's a spin! Here it goes. Fifty percent chance? No, 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 no. Thirty-three percent chance. Oh, wait, really? 
Oh, that was so close. No, <laughs> Teddy. Oh my God. I really thought you had that one. I really genuinely thought that was in the bank. Oh man, I'm sorry. Nick, I, I almost feel so bad. Can we do one more spin? Is that allowed? This is double spin. All right, you heard it here first, folks. Teddy gets a second spin out of Post Pals. Uh, very, very, um, uh, well, hang on, hang on. I need, I need to, I need to think. <laughs> Shit. Post Pal is very, very generously allowed for a second spin. Uh, this is not going to be become a regular thing, just so you know. But this is the first time we've had the wheel on. And man, that was close. That was close. So, one more. One more. Here goes. Here goes. Any second. Streamlabs. Hello? Here we go. <laughs> ah. Ah. And. And. Ah! No! Shit! Dang! Dang, that is rough. Teddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I uh, I really thought you were gonna get that first spin, uh, but luck is not on your side today. Really sorry, but it is it is a real achievement saving up that many points, and I I really want to thank you for 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 sticking around for so long. You've been here from almost the start, and you've been an active chatter. You've helped moderate, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, Teddy, for uh, for all that you do. For all that you do. But sadly, luck is not on your side. And just to clarify, it is it is a thirty three percent chance. Uh, just because it has more more categories, it still it still makes out um a thirty three percent chance to win the art. Uh, if if you add like those those pie sections together, so if if there was any confusion there, trust me, trust me, I've doubled and tripled and checked it four times, you know. So uh, I'm I'm sure. But yeah, let's return to the game. Uh, man, that almost bumps me out when people don't win. Dang. All right, well, back to Banjo Kazooie. One sec. And today's stream has just been so crazy. All, between all the donations and kind of weird vibes I'm getting from, from playing this game, I don't know, it feels different from anything else I've played in a while. And then the wheel and everything. Wow. Crazy. The horde is going to be absolutely insane in just a bit, too. So uh, we have that to see. So, uh, am I back with you? Hello, hi. OBS just straight up crashed. So that was interesting. Uh, it just froze. So, uh, good for me. But it was weird because the chat was still going, I guess because it's like a browser source in OBS. So I saw you, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do anything. Weird. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's actually, actually return to Banju. Ban Banju Kazooie. Let's go. There we go. Can you see? Can you hear? OBS just won't see it to give me a third chance. <laughs> I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't. Ah! Why? What the hell? Raikun! What's that all about? Rude. Pet from Parstow. Okay. Kiss from Lena. Okay, a 
Okay, I, I think I have it. Oh, Ponyo with a poop. Billy Dirk, no? N now? No. Please, please, no. Please be kind. <laughs> Maybe yes? Why does why does why is everyone hating on me today? I don't get it. I feel like I've been relatively well behaved for for a sushi stream. <laughs> okay. Shit. Wait, what? <laughs> which one? Which one was it? Was it this purple? Nope. Yellow first. Yellow first, and then. Okay, it's fine. Yellow first. Pink. No, not gonna, not gonna activate. Do I just talk to you? Do I have to like? Yeah, the only way to do this is to hurt them. That's that's fine. Okay. And yellow. And blue. And then pink again, I think. Right? Okay, we're good. Ah, splendid! You just needed one more. Yellow. Purple. Pink. Red. Yellow. Blue. Red. Oh, okay. Did it, did it start yellow or did it start purple? Okay, ready. Did start yellow. And this guy? Pink. Red? And here's where I forget. Is it blue? Oh! Blue is death! Oops. <sighs> I'm terrible at these, yeah, me too. What did the dragon say when I gave you the toy? Oh my god! Donation! Diddy! With 10 pounds! Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what, is that? what does that even mean? Is it because I have fangs? Or is that like a shark pun? I don't know which one it is. I mean, that's, that's, that's wonderful. That's great. That's great. You bully with a pun. Okay. Acceptable. Acceptable. Like, if you, <laughs> if you, if you pay at the same time, it's sort of... It, it equals itself out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vivi. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Alright, so, uh... Hmm. I'm only just learning that you have to collect all the musical notes over again, huh? What about the, uh... You do get the jiggies, right? Those save. Those save. In that case, uh, I want to do the crocodile instead of the, uh... Uh, the turtle. And then, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of the stream for them. It's kind of pretty beat. I have to say. Just, yeah, it's, it's been a strange, strange stream. I don't know what to say. It's weird, it's weird playing this game with like a half-broken controller, and it's a, kind of a weirder game than I re remember. And... All the donations, you know, the wheel and everything, and it's gonna be a huge horde. Wow. Crazy. I have no idea how much I'm happy that verified chat only is, is a thing now. I know, right? You know, right? Yeah, they added phone verification. Which uh, I'm sure a couple of you might have noticed that you need to, to verify your phone to be able to chat. Uh, I have it set so, like, you have to be... Your account has to be at least... What is it? Your account has to be a month old. Uh, or you need to have followed me for, for, for two weeks uh, before you can chat. Unless you go ahead and add your phone directly. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a huge help. Twitch actually did something super useful. Oh, I think... You need to verify every time. Enter chat, or is it just one time? Just one time. You just connect your phone to, to your account, and you don't have to do it ever again. I, I like this move not only because it helps with like the hate rates and everything, it sort of uh, puts it's a bit of a barrier between that, but also uh, it's really good that people are forced to use two-factor authentic authentication, because that is a legitimately important thing that people tend to neglect. So, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Have a good night, Twig! 
Okay, so we can't go into the croc unless we shrink ourselves down. So I think that's the TF item on this level is you become tiny. Uh, so in that case, I'll just find a different one. Should be one over here. All right, do we have to destroy? Yes, we do. Oh, love those 15 frames per second. I don't think there's a way to increase the frame rate for, uh, for the N64 version of this game. There is actually an Xbox uh, port that they made of Banjo Kazooie. So, you know, Rare was, was bought by Microsoft and everything. And apparently you get some, some higher frame rates with that. Maybe, uh, maybe if this doesn't work itself out, maybe we can go for that version instead. Maybe that could be better. But, uh, until next time, I'll, I'll try to solve some of the issues we ran into today, because, uh, yeah. Especially with, like, the precision controls that are needed in parts, like, what, I'm, what I have right now is, is not good enough. So, uh, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. To now, up here, I assume. It's over there. Why is there just like an empty platform this way? Because that kind of tempts me to walk over there instead. No! Okay, we're good. Alright, and we secure the jiggy. And with that, uh, I think I'm happy to call it here. I, I hope this was a good starting session of Banjo, uh, Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I see. Let's go. I hope, uh, hope it was interesting to watch. Today's been a bizarre stream, but I've, I've had a great time. And I can't wait to do more Half-Life tomorrow, so I, I hope you're, you're stoked for some, for some blue, sh blue shift. But yeah, my friends, uh, that's, that's all for Banjo Kazooie. I'm gonna save it here. Uh, give me just 10 seconds and I will be back with the uh, outro and stick around a huge horde is gonna take place today So uh, there's gonna be quite a bit of spectacle. So I hope you stay around for uh, yeah Just one more minute. And I'll be right back Another big horde? Yeah, I suspect, I suspect so. One more second, just saving the game and everything. All right, should be good to go. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look, my friends. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are, we are back. We are back in the room. <laughs> Finally. Sadly, the last time we were here, Teddy did not win the wheel spin, but uh... Hopefully, hopefully one day someone gets it. I really, really hope so. I really, really hope so. I wanna, honestly, honestly, if you save that much, uh, that many points, you spend that much, um, that so long, so long saving up all those points, then I really would like nothing more than for, for someone to win some art. For sure. All right. With that, uh, I have to manually move myself out of the way today for the horde, so I'm gonna do that in a second. But first, our pop sponsor is... Who do we have? Who do we have? Come on! <laughs> the confetti lands first. It's Face Wrecked with 31 gift subs. 31! An absolute insane amount, Face Wrecked. Every time you drop by, you, you are so, so generous. Uh, from, from both me and Postpal, thank you so much. It is uh, a huge, huge amount. And a great way to finish off September, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Have some honks, have some claps, have some fireworks, you deserve it. And with that, now I'm gonna manually move myself out of the way and it's gonna look super awkward. My, my Zoom function broke right before I started the stream. I don't know what's wrong, but I think if I, if I shut down OBS while I'm in a Zoom state, it just saves that as the default. Uh, they were all oh, silent, really. Hang on. Is weird. What about? Ah, that's better. Here's the claps. Here's the hogs. Sorry about that. Uh, 
but yeah, I have I have a weird I have a weird glitch where if I if I shut down OBS without like resetting everything, then uh then yeah, it saves it in that state, so all my transitions and everything they just disappear. So I, I found that that was the case right before I started today. So that's why I'm missing my fancy zoom and everything to the side here. So I'll just have to awkwardly drag myself over. It works. It works. We we make do here on the sushi stream. All right. With that, uh, let's drop the horde. Let's see what we have for today. First, we have a follow from Mike Husky, and we have eight subs and over 2,000 bits. Thank you so much, Mike. That is a lot of money you decided to drop, and uh, I, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let me uh, let me kill the Roomba before it eats everything. Thank you so much. And we have Happy Grund with the bits and the gift subs. Thank you so much. Lucky Wolf with the bits. We have Baboom with the 420. Thank you, Baboom. Baboom is always so quiet in chat, but uh, I, I love love seeing them pop by every now and then. Thank you, Baboom. Silver with the bits and the gift sub. We have Weeg with the 300 bits. Thank you so much, Weeg. I think Weeg just went to bed. The Fires with the 69. Nice. Fucking okay, nice. And we have Buck with 3,000 more bits. No, 3,700 3, more bits and one gift sub. So, uh, absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much. Thank you, Buck. Look at this. Look at this. We're not even close to being done. Cube, right, true. Thank you so much. We have Himbro. Thank you. Further Crusade. Thank you. We have Fluffy, Fluffy Gen. We have Snow Pup MLP. Immortal the White Fox, thank you so much. We have a follow from Raymond and a gift sub as well, or a regular sub. Pup Amethyst. Captain Blizzy. We have Neat Griffin. We have AK with the sub. We have uh, Samaki. Raldriel, thank you so much. Roy, thank you, Roy. We have Aura Durg. We have Carbon Hybrid, Dragon Fruit Soda, thank you so much. This is gonna go on for a while, by the way. Bushade, thank you so much. Angel, Jade Wolf, Capson, Capson, In the Size of Fur, Rourke, Souffle Shark, PP63, we have Raging Grace, Blue, Bloody Fox. Arctic Fox. Beta. Thank you so much. We have Letty Dragon. We have Drac Alucard. Corvin. Thank you so much. Valen. Super, super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Shinru. With two subs. Thank you so much. Bucky Buck. Thank you. Vivarius. With the 10 pounds and the gift sub. Thank you so much, Vivi. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Cheers, Canadian Fox. And cheers to Author of Time. Letty, thank you so much. Puka. Pukan. Thank you. Sonic. We have exactly one Cass. Localized support. Victor. Thank you. Next, Alex. Who's Beta? Famous streamer. Ziggy. Relatively big in, in the fandom, I think. Face Wrecked with the 31 subs. Holy shit. Holy shit. Sora Not Sky. We have Sora Not Sky with money as well from, from Streamlabs. Thank you so much. 10 pounds. 11 pounds, I think. Holy shit. It keeps going. It keeps going. Leg Wolf with 25 pounds. Man, all of this adds up. Everyone, thank you so much. This is... Uh, this is too much. This is almost too much. Holy shit. Thank you so much. And Jarns with the follow. We have Ribby with the follow. And we have uh, a nerd bottle. What was that? A, ner a nerd bottle? Ava. Thank you. It's Cynix. Angel Renee. Broken Eggs. Narpy. Thank you, Narpy. 
And that is the hoard for today. Let me, yeah, uh, let me remove myself out of the way so you can have a look at this. Oh. My. God. Yeah. Once again, we knocked, we knocked out the TV in the back just from the sheer weight of the hoard. It just, like, oozed out and knocked it over. So, uh, yeah. Well fucking done. Thank you so much to, to absolutely everyone who decided to give money today. This is, uh... A huge, huge amount, and I, I'm flabbergasted. Like really, really. Um, thank you for a, a great month of streams. Can I just say this? I know I was on, on a break for ten days, but like all the streams I've done this month has been like absolutely so much fun. We've had. Uh, let me, let me get back on. Hang on. Wait, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Nothing's working. There we go. Here I am. Here I am. Wait. Does that mean I can move it now? Does it, does it work? Still broken. <laughs> I, I can I can hope, right? I can hope. I can wish. No, but the the streams we've done lately have been so much fun for me personally. I've I've loved all the games we've done. Uh, we've had a lot of really great moments together. A lot of a lot of funny streams. A lot of thoughtful streams where we just sit and chat and have a have a good time. You know, um, a good mix of everything. And I just want to thank you all for for watching, for donating, for for chatting. Like all your support. Um means the world and uh, my life my life has truly been changed since I started streaming it's probably the best choice I've I've made in in years I've never had this much fun with uh, what is essentially becoming a bit of a job right this is starting this is starting to to get there so I'm 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 so happy I'm so happy that this can be a big part of my life and that I can continue to to work on this and hopefully hopefully it's entertaining for you to watch as well uh, I, I, like I've been saying, I have a lot of really big things planned ahead. Um, one of which I can actually show after, after we feed the Roomba. Some of you actually saw this in the Discord today, but we have something for Halloween. Uh, I've made a little setup. I'm still tweaking it, but I think it's looking brilliant. So, after, if the Roomba ever makes it out, it's in the back somewhere. If it makes it out from under the TV, then I'll, I'll show it to you. Hang on. Let's try that again. Poor thing. The whole TV is just stuck on top. Hang on. Did it break for Oh, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. There you go. Yeah! Look at it go. Look at it go. Lena says, streaming has been a big impact for you and a lot of people. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, uh... Yeah. At the end of the day, like, even... Even if this were, were something that wouldn't happen forever, like, if... If, if I had to find a different job or something down the line, then we still have the community we built, right? And end of the line, that's that's what matters. I'm having so much fun right now, and even then, I've, I've made so many good friends. So, nothing, nothing bad to say about streaming as a whole. It's, um, all, all the lows have been so, so insignificant compared to all the highs. And I, I couldn't be happier to be here on the screen. To be here streaming, to be here hanging out with you guys, and playing weird, interesting games. Yeah. Honestly, thank you so much. And with that, uh, I think the Roomba's taken more than enough of the horde. Uh, let's let's just reset the room for a sec, and then I'm gonna move myself over if I can manage to. Hang on. Mm. One more second. I just want to show something that's to come. Uh, I'm not gonna start using this tomorrow immediately, but it's something for Halloween, and I think it looks pretty damn good. Let me see. Just move myself over here. And have a look at this. Have a look at this. This is gonna be our Halloween setup for the next month. Every day we play a spooky game. This is what the stream is gonna look like. I'm gonna have custom intros, custom outros as well. But damn, look at this. Look at this. How cool isn't this? Let me let me actually just move myself out of the way again because shit. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I only worked on this today uh, for a couple of hours and I, I still think it already looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna make some make some changes, add a couple of things, but uh, I I'm ready to get into the Halloween spirit of things. I I hope you like it. I hope you like it because you'll be seeing quite a bit of it. So play some Roomba. Okay, okay, fine. Let's see what the rumor does. 
in this environment. All right, it's behind me. It's behind me. Oh, I'm right into the candles. Yeah, so everything does have physics. Uh, I don't know if the room is going to be aggressive enough right now. I can speed it up, but uh, then it's just destroying things on purpose. You know what? I think, I think you'll have plenty of chances to see the Roomba destroy this room. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. But I hope you're excited for Halloween month. I sure am. And yeah, thank you once again for all that you do, everyone. Everyone who shows up here to watch the stream. Everyone who donates. Everyone who, who chats. You mean the world to me. You really do. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone. I'm going to find someone to rate. Uh, I'll play the credits and play some music. But stick around and join in on the raid, and I'll be back tomorrow with Blue Shift. So I hope you're excited for some more Half-Life. With that, I bid you farewell. Good night, everyone. Good night. Take care. You know what? Let's play some banjo music to end it. Some Halloween-y banjo music. Why not? You know what? It's been a long time since we did marbles on the stream, so I'll send you over to Cosmic. Have fun, say hello for me. Alright, with that I bid you farewell. Good night everyone, have a good one.